everybody doing today so good to see you guys everybody coming in so <clears throat> today got a couple of things for you I was just about to go live anyway and then I saw that uh, Jessica is live but uh, right now let me show you what is happening So I jumped on and then it started doing this. So I don't know what's going on. If she's going to, uh, I'll show you though. And of course she's in the tub because where else is she going to be? Oh, it's not even letting me play it at all now. A minute ago. <laughs> That's all it, it did that. It literally does that. And then it just goes to the buffering screen. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but we will check back in with her. Maybe she'll come back in a second. Um, but one of the other things I wanted to, uh, yes, there is a rumor that they broke up Harley mom. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's, you know, I, I didn't hear her break up with him or him break up with her. Um, she did you know her usual thing though where she's like i'm not good enough for him and he's not he doesn't want to be with me anyway and blah 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 but i personally from what i've heard i don't think that they're broke up um even though he should be breaking up with her and you know she should be like really trying to get some help or something because it's just sad the, her life like this is no way to live the way that this chick is so anyway um am i going to talk about the home depot review we actually went over that last night um for anyone that wasn't here uh earlier let me grab the link for you to the stream that i did last night early this morning um, because I cover it in that, uh, stream, but she, yeah, she, there's a, there's a review from 2016 from when she worked at Home Depot and apparently she, um, posted pictures of an under age girl on Craigslist, like, um, uh no i spell we spell michael the normal way <laughs> your pickles you're calling cps on who <laughs> on me you realize my son's 18 right <laughs> like okay anyway so you know it was a review i don't know that it whether or not for sure what the person said was true I don't think she's been um, charged with anything for that, but it did say the the person wrote that they reported it and um, to uh, the something about, well, here, I'll just pull it up really quick and read it to you guys one more time. It's not that long. Let's see. One second. While I open it up. Mm. 
All right, so. Oh, where is it? Oh, you know what? I know where it is. On my Discord. So, let me pull it up from there. Let's see. Sorry, guys. It's taking me a minute to do this. So, it says... Well, god dang it. Okay, here it is. Um, and this again was from May 25th or wait, wait, 26th. It's hard to see it, but yeah, May 26th or no, June 26th. Why does it say five then? All right, it's from 2016. That's the most important thing you need to know. And it says earlier this week, my daughter and I were shopping at your Vir uh, your Virginia Beach location. My daughter noticed a female employee named Jessica blank that she recognized. The only reason my daughter knows this female is because on October 11th of 2015, Jessica posted my daughter, who is was a minor, on Craigslist for sex. I am shocked that you allow people who do such terrible things to work for you, especially since she did this to a child. You must not do background checks on your employees either, that or you just don't care. Anyone who hurts a child like that should not be able to work around children. You should know the Central for Missing and Exploited Children was contacted and a report was filed. The investigation remains open. Miss Jessica Blank did remove the post, but the damage has already been done. My daughter received tons of calls, text messages, and very inappropriate pictures from men. She should not be allowed to work around children at any age where she has the ability to one day harm them the way that she has harmed my daughter. As I said, either you don't do background checks or you simply don't care. So, um, you know, doesn't make her look too good. I don't know. I, I don't think there's anything on her record about it or anything. So I'm sure people would have, uh, you know, brought that up and uh, said something. But it's not hard to believe that she would do something like that. Because look at how she does and reacts to things now. And, I mean, just yesterday she was doing streams where she was holding up a piece of paper that had Jessica Mestica's daughter's names on it. Because... I don't know what the point was besides to just be a fucking bitch, but, um, you know, she does seem like the kind of person that if she got mad at this girl in 2016 or whatever, that she might do something like that. So, um, you know, that is, uh, the Home Depot story. I don't know if she lost her job. I, I don't know a lot more about it. I just know the basics of, and that review was left. So um, let me see if she came back on. Or if it's still just buffered. Yeah, it's still just doing the same thing uh, like this. So I don't know what her deal is. So, um, what I'm going to do is I saw that Nick Bravo, uh, has a new live stream where he's apparently calling me out about something. So I'm going to pull that up. We'll watch that really quick and then check back in with her after that. Um, so let's see. All right. This is from an hour ago and it's titled Carrie shares Dis disinformation great mm -hmm. uh let's see the chat's usually fairly boring in his dreams but i'll leave it up there so we can see it okay here we go <clears throat> start talking about it after dinner i'm joined by Grin. we're splitting we're having dairy queen today yay i did just get paid so and it's the last day of our, my vacation, so. Yes, it is. Last day of vacation. And then I'm going to get 
uh, hooked up with. Uh, I still can't believe that they drove. What was it? They said ten hours to see that eclipse. Like the eclipse, like seeing it, it's cool and everything. But I would never like travel to do that. Like it's not. It's just not. And but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Uh, that real estate software thing. That's ninety nine a month. That gives free skip tracing, so I can actually start doing the fucking work. Uh, because you know it, it really. Uh, Mermaid Soul. I I uh saw that. I don't. Let me let me go back up. Hold on. <clears throat> Last night, Jessica ended her live saying Josh is single. Now she said it about five or six times. Yeah, I covered that um stream uh earlier so i'm not gonna play it again just a lurker because i um i showed it last night if it's if you're talking about the one where she was like crying and stuff we uh we watched that uh last night early this morning so let me grab the link just in case any of you haven't seen it and you want to get more um in you know depth and hear and see the full thing. Here's the link for that. I'm going to drop it in the chat for you. And um, we're going to watch some Cobe stuff in a minute too after this if she's not back or whatever. So we'll probably go over more of it in just a minute. Did like it, it really did like uh make me realize how much fun we could have had if I would have had, like, a couple thousand to fucking spend. <laughs> yeah. Life is a lot easier and more fun when you've got, fin you know, financial stability and you're able to afford things, which, you know, would be a good reason for you to probably try to get a job because then you could, you know, really spoil yourself and Sabella on uh, these you know, trips or vacations that you take. Just a thought. AOD would have been like, oh, it's 40 bucks to park at the stadium. I would have been like, here, take the money. Just 40? You know, let's, let's park and have some fun. I don't care where I'm at. I am not going to pay $40 for parking. Fuck no. I would, whatever it is, wouldn't be good enough to pay that much. Um, no, you're good, Mermaid Soul. You're good. But anyway because i'm a lot looser with my money imagine uh, that loose with my money loose with my uh, modesty mm -hmm. loose with <laughs> with your loose with the fucking truth is what you are <laughs> <sighs> i am a very horny i don't think it i mean it doesn't even cost 40 dollars to park at disney and they're pretty fucking expensive and uh, she knows that. Yeah. Oh, there's the beauty queen. Hold on. Let me make sure we, <laughs> we got to get a good look at her. <laughs> <sighs> I am. A That's a good point. Forever Brandy says they had to pay $40 because Sabella can't walk very far. I'm sure. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. I don't picture her, uh, you know, being the type of person that wants to, uh, you know, do a lot of exercising, if you know what I mean. Be a very horny little man, and uh, Ew, she knows that. wait, what? How did we get to horny? <laughs> With your morals. <laughs> <sighs> I am a very horny little man, and uh, Ew. she knows that. Are you recording? Uh, yes. All right. Oh my god. Wow, she didn't even, he, you didn't even tell her you were recording? And Sabella, you didn't, like, what did you think he was doing? Holding the phone and talking into it like that. You didn't, that didn't click in your brain that he was live? How weird. But then to bring, I'm a, I'm a horny little man. I'm horny. Like, we know, dude. We know. And it's creepy. Keep that between you and her you know what i'm saying hi black onion how are you doing today <sighs> i am a very horny 
little man, and uh, she knows that. Are and, you recording? Uh, yes. All right. Oh my God! Oh my God! I didn't know you were recording already. Uh, it's a it's a live stream. Because I did want to talk about Carrie, but I'm gonna wait till we get our food, so we're not saying anything in front of the uh, in front of the uh, employee. Because. You yep. know, Nick, it's kind of sad. You and Sabella, you know, you talk a lot of shit and you say all of this stuff and how horrible my content is and everything. But here you guys were on vacation and you were still watching me. And then even more than that, you watched and had to come and like, you know, make a statement or whatever, do whatever this is like. All and and Sibylla, I cannot tell you how many times did did you not say, like, oh, when you guys did this first stream about me that you were gonna you know expose me and all that, and then you were not gonna talk about me ever again because you have better things to do in your life and I'm not worth your time and blah blah blah. When is that gonna happen? Because y'all haven't stopped talking about me. So, like everything else, though, you were full of shit about that, right? Yeah, we, we do try to act somewhat respectable in public. Um, yeah, right. Says the man who's not wearing his bottom denture. I got my top on him. I, no? anyway. Why would you? What a weird thing to say. Well, I don't have my bottom, bottom dentures in. Oh, well. Like, what? Do you think, like, people needed to know that? I don't think we did need to know that. That was a little weird. It is pretty good food here at Dairy Queen. Uh, really good food. And they're all over the country. It's really good food. So what I want to talk about a little bit is one of Carrie's latest videos where she shared some disinformation that I'm not sure if she understands that it's disinformation. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm warning well, get to second it. Thessalonians. Anyway. I'll just call you a Thessalonian anyway, because it's easier than... Okay, David, um, here, we'll go... Yeah, I see you. She did, she did come on now, so I'm going to let this play. We'll go back to the Nick stuff in just a second. Somnium. I gotta heat the water back up, sorry. Sorry, I was ready to do this and then I got interrupted, so. Apologize. So some, some troll bought me this bath bomb, a friendly troll. I don't know what a friendly troll is. I've never met a friendly one in my life. What if a troll bought me a bath bomb? I probably would be scared to use it. But here we go. Here we go, guys. Bath time. I'm not single. Josh is my boyfriend. Oh, 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 there we go. She's bringing it up already. So she says, I'm not single. Josh is my boyfriend. Let's see where this goes. What's up, Brian? like um crescent fresh it sounds like she's you know acting like she didn't break up with him hi voodoo, hi, voodoo. how are you and i did accidentally drop it too so hopefully it didn't like you know 
Drop it already. We'll find out how this works here in a little bit. Oh my god, just get to well, it. Well, not how it works. I know how they work. I meant how it performs is what I meant. Yeah, exactly, Crescent. Kind of like she never said anything about the trailer. Mm hmm. She has amnesia. Smells pretty good, too. I mean, it's not like the best scent in the world, but it's, you know, it's not bad. It's like a fresh scent. Like, I think they're trying to capture the sea breeze air and, like, the ocean, which, eh. But it's not bad. Yeah, it's, well, this is, like, a normal size bath bomb. Compared oh, my to God. Other. Just drop the fucking thing already. Jesus. Ooh. Oh, no, you got your belly button pierced. I got mine pierced a long time ago, and I just could never get it to heal. So I got it taken out because it was just fucking gross. That does sound gross. I should be all right. Thank you. If you're watching, I should be all right. If you're watching. Now, this is a tiny bath bomb. What? Way too small. You this got another is another one. How many are the you gonna normal do? size they're supposed to be? Fucky! And I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. I'm oh. not complaining at all. I'm just saying. She finally dropped it. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> Not really, but... Hello. It's a really pretty color. I gotta put a little bit of cold. Hey, alien. Oh, shoot. Is that my little creature? Uh-oh. Oh, my creature's poking out. Oh, what is it? I think it's a turtle. Oh, there's something in it? I didn't know that they had stuff in them, like toys or whatever. The new Joker film, Lamar, are you talking about the one with um, Joaquin Phoenix and uh, Lady Gaga? <laughs> I didn't see you said gay alien. I thought it said gray. I can't read. The alien? What is it? Alien? I don't know what's inside. Yeah, that I've looks seen. Good. That looks good to me too, Lamar. It really does. Joaquin Phoenix is just like a really talented guy. I think uh, there's not much that I've seen of him that I don't like. 
these bath bombs. I've just never used one before. When I was in high school, people would erase the R in my last name. Oh my God. What? What? Native Americans call North America Turtle Island. Why? Is this a turtle? Oh shit, no, it's a shark. Oh my God, it's a shark. Oh shit, oh no. Oh no. It's a shark. I don't know where it came. Well, I don't know where. It, well, it came from Amazon, so. I had an Amazon package yesterday and it said, From a friendly troll. <laughs> Michael, I'm the only bomb you need in the bath. <laughs> You're crazy. Well, I'm like, okay. You so crazy. I don't, I never knew f trolls could be friendly, but you have me fooled. Joke's on you, Jessica. You're, the, this person put God knows what in this fucking bath bomb. Like, I wouldn't trust it if, if a uh, troll sent me something like that. I think I would. Mm -mm. I just, I don't think I would trust it personally, but. It does look like Baja Blast. Hey, yes, JW. it does. How are you doing today? Ooh, Bon Beardo. That's such a good movie. Signs with Mel Gibson and uh, Joaquin Phoenix. That part when the, when he's watching on TV and the, um, you know, alien thing walks by or whatever. One of, that's probably one of the better jump scares you know, in in movies all around. Um, it's a pretty good one. Hey, Maddie. Oh, it's a little shark. Oh, he's adorable. You know, I found a little shark one time. I wonder if it came from a bath bomb or if it's just like one of those, you know, plastic animals you get at like Michael's or whatever. But I found, I'm terrified of sharks. But I found a cute little shark on the ground. It's probably about this size. Like, oh, that's so cute. I am terrified of them, but I do have my shark beanie baby still from when I was like, no, oh, 13 or whatever age I was. You know, what's kind of ironic is that I know one of the things that people have said about her or, or call her as a nickname is shark teeth. So it's kind of ironic that she got a shark in it. <laughs> Maybe they did that purposely because that's a joke. Like I've seen made quite a few times people calling her shark teeth or whatever so i don't like sharks they terrify me but i do have a few shark thingies like i used to have a glass shark chill them because i thought it was so fucking adorable but i broke it on an accident it fell out of my pocket but it was so damn cute I'm terrified of sharks. Yeah, he's cute. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it Jarella? Am I saying your name right? Um, I saw actually too. Um, you said out oh, the owner boss was looking over my shoulder at work. You see, as I was showing him things, and he can see my phone with Auntie Jessie on it. Oh no. I saw that she tagged me yesterday. Maybe I'll pull that up in a second and read it to you guys because it was a little weird, a little bit weird the way she worded it. Oh, yes, Pufferfish. I follow a Pufferfish on instagram and i think her name is cookie and she's just so freaking adorable 
I mean, there's all kinds of puffer fish, but. Yeah, Josh got me a purple bong. Oh, you should have seen me. Oh, you should have seen me earlier. Uh, I had I had everything lined up. I had my I had the purple lighter Josh gave me. I had my purple grinder and the bong he bought me. I'm like, oh, purple, purple, purple everywhere. And Josh did not pick the color out. He said he couldn't. I don't know. That's what he said. He couldn't pick it out. So. He was worried about the color. I'm like, Josh, I don't care. The fact you even want to buy me bong, your sweetheart. Oh, really? The fact you want to buy me a bong, period, plastic or not. I don't care what color it is. As long as it comes from you, that's all. That means a lot to me. I don't care. Girl, stop it. You're acting like we don't all remember all the shit that you fucking said last night. I wonder if she left that up, if it's still up, because I was surprised that she didn't take it down. <laughs> but it happened to look. be purple, so let me go. Where is my bomb? Oh, it's right here. Actually, it's ready to go, too. I, I fucking love Josh. Every little thing he does for me, every little door dash, I, I don't ask for none of it. He does it because he wants to. Yep, it's gone. She took it down. The stream from last night is gone. She left. There's another one she left up. Um, But I think that's the one that was completely silent the whole time. Or was it not? You know what? Actually, I don't know if I saw, if I, I don't think I played this last night because she didn't have it on there. So let me pull this up really quick, guys. And then we'll, so the, any of you who didn't see this um, last night, this is just the very end of the stream last night. So let me show you this. See, she came back at first. She was muted. All right, here we go. I'm not tripping on anything. How much more do you want to lie to me is what I'm asking you. How much more do you want to lie to me? I know I'm worthless. I know I'm not worth anything. So quit talking about me. Thanks. I know I'm worthless. I know I'm worthless. Dude, that shirt is not working for you, honey. I'm just going to tell you right now. You need it. Don't wear that shirt anymore because uh, it's not a good look. When other people are given more time than I am, I know I'm worthless. I'm done. More I'm worthless. people are given I'm, more I'm time useless. than her. Like my, like my whole life, my whole life. That was I'm Bjork, so Michael. It is JJ, very chaotic and I that know room. I'm useless. Give everything to Josh. I'm a nobody. And when I disappear from everything, please don't come looking for me, okay? Wow. I, I seriously don't. 
Right. Josh needs everything because he's he means the world to me, and I mean zero to myself. I'm a zero to myself, and he means everything to me, and I mean nothing to him. And that's fine. I don't have to mean anything to him, but don't act like I maybe do when I probably don't. So I need to know where I stand so I'm not so disappointed down the fucking line. I, I need to know where I stand, where I'm so not disappointed down the line that I want to fucking throw myself over the fucking bridge. Because I know I'm worthless as fuck. I can't even get my own. Now she's talking about throwing herself over a bridge. Like, that is not cool. That is not okay. And if you're serious, you really need to get help. If you're not serious, you really need to get help. Because it's not okay to do that. That's manipulative as hell. My own boyfriend to call me back. I can't even get him to call me back. queen she this is i do believe it was josh that was trying to call her and she was crying because he didn't hadn't called her then he starts trying to call her and she won't pick up like girl you're getting mixed signals here do you want to talk to him or not <laughs> Pretending like you care when you fucking haven't given a fucking shit. Uh, you wanna uh, you only call me when I'm drunk? Oh, well, I'm not gonna answer your calls. What the hell? Oh, you, you wanna, want him to you call and now call you're not. Drunk. Oh, when it's appropriate for you. Oh, okay. Who cares about me, right? Wow. Who cares about me? I I know. I'm just some fucking really fucking fat fucking. I know. Who gives a fuck about me? I'm so tired. Jessica, do you know what a lot of people find attractive? Really attractive? Somebody with a little bit of confidence in themselves. Um, this, whatever this is where you constantly are putting yourself down and stuff like that, like it is, at, at least from my, in my opinion and what I see for most guys um, or girls, it is not attractive at all 
to have somebody that's constantly putting themselves down and you know this it's one thing to self-deprecate but you do it to an extreme and it's just if you really i don't know do you guys think she really feels that way or she just says it because she's fishing for compliments because that's what i can't figure out i i don't know if she's really feels that way and she really thinks she's this horrible person or if she just really craves some attention and when she's not getting it she'll say things to get, trigger her to you know somebody to say oh but you're great it's a free comment. I'm not yes living i'm streaming the live stream as well but i'm just showing the end of the stream from last night i'm gonna answer you if it's not josh calling i'm not gonna answer and josh isn't gonna answer so Now she's hitting herself. He ain't gonna answer, so. I, I, I get a deal with all the fucking demogorgon lies that people fucking give me this way. I, I can't even get my own boyfriend to answer my phone calls. Because I'm too ugly, too embarrassed, too ashamed. I know she come back yep she does look she looks just miserable just miserable but now she's muted so let me fast forward through the since we can't hear her anyway look at this she sits and talks for like a long time and the whole thing is muted And she's like, gets up, she's walking around and stuff. The whole thing's muted. So anyway, that was how last night ended, you know, and now we'll go back to the live stream from today. But obviously it's a night and day difference. It's, you know, now it, she's acting like that didn't happen. And, you know, oh, I really love Josh and he's so wonderful. Well, that's not what you were saying last night. Let me speed it up a little bit so we can get caught up with the where we're at here in the live. Well, I unbanned you. It's just she helped me. I hope I got everybody's link. I had to sit. I, that's what took me so long. I hope I clicked on it. Some people were multiple. Not sure why. Some people weren't even banned at all. But I'm the one that unblocked everyone. She just sent me all the links. And I'm not saying she's not doing work because she has. She's just helping me, and I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a shark. Yeah, my grinder, my whatever. I don't want to show the bong too much. But, well, I'll have to cover my if there's a reflection no but the water it does look like ocean especially with the reflections well more like a pool or something but it's very pretty yeah how much do you one of those bath bombs from like lush or whatever how much do those run are they expensive yeah and I'm covered up right now. So if you see any reflection, you don't see any nudity. Okay. 
Yeah, I had everything lined up earlier. I was like, oh, that's so cute. And I already got weed in there. Ten bucks? That's not too bad. But yes, purple is one of my favorite, but I think green is more of my favorite color. Oh my god. Green shower. And you know, I bought Josh a black and green shower poof. I'm like, oh. Too cute. Yeah, you know, um, who, oh, Sharpstone. Like, I don't know how I came across these people. But on their Facebook, they just had, like, crappy reviews. Like, probably just, uh, you know, being attacked by, like, trolls or whatever. Like, it's just like, oh, these are the crappiest grinders, blah, 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 the teeth break. So I was honestly scared to buy from them just because of my luck. I've never had a problem with this grinder. Not once. Nothing is... The only thing, there is a crack somewhere, but it's probably not their foot. I got a crack. Right there but it's probably not anything because of them but seriously i've had this grinder probably since like 2016 i've never had a problem with it so i'm just like i don't know what all the shitty reviews were about but i'm glad i did buy from them because i think I speaking of reviews <laughs> we uh heard about a review that was left for you jessica you want to comment on that gave them a good review if i did but it's just like the one ebay the one ebay i bought from where they sold perfumes like a lot of the reviews were really shitty, I think, because people, like, want their expensive perfume and be like, eh, and then they don't, you know, they don't get a refund. So, same with them. I bought a perfume. I, I went with them anyways. My perfume was legit, real. I gave them a good review. I, I don't understand people. I was scared to buy from her, too, but she was fucking legit, so... <laughs> I don't need your sarcasm. All I was saying is I bought Josh a fucking shower poof that's green and black because I thought that was fucking adorable. That's all. I don't need your fucking sarcasm. Uh-oh. She's getting mad. She's getting angry. Like normal. No wonder her parents are so frustrated, though. If my daughter or, or child or whatever, even if they were an adult, whatever, was doing this shit all day, every day, staying in the bathroom, in the tub, wasting water, like, that has to be really uh, irritating for them. Unblock me, you coward. How about you suck your daddy's dick? There we go. How am I a coward? Maybe you're a fucking uh, bundle of sticks. How about that? Don't start. Unblock me, you can Well, obviously, if you're fucking talking, you're unblocked now, retard. But you're blocked now, retard. So go fucking suck your dad's dick. Okay. You, you think talking to me like a fucking little bitch is going to get you anywhere? No, it ain't. It ain't going to get you shit. Hi, Jesse. Oh, really? How's that so crazy? I've literally liked the color green. How do you think the house is the color green? Because I picked that out at nine years old. So, yeah, my favorite color has been green. So if you're, like, trying to say something or whatever. Yeah. Bye. Have a good day. Are you really getting offended because someone says something stupid about you liking the color green? Come on. Yes, my tripod is in the tub. And how do I clean my grinder? Um, rubbing alcohol. Just the 70% rubbing alcohol. And my favorite weed, I don't know, because I honestly, I'm not like one of those like hot stoner girls that gets like all the free weed samples and like, <laughs> so I don't know. I, I haven't smoked that many strains in my life. If I got to smoke all of them, I could tell you, but I'm not one of those lucky girls, so I don't know. Oh, please. Wah. All right. She is just, find something to whine about no matter what. I'm not one of those girls that got free weed samples. I don't know who you're talking about. I didn't get free weed samples. I don't know any girls that were getting free weed samples. Like, usually when it comes to uh, drugs and stuff, you know, girls don't get that much of a pass. But um, 
it's just like it just really bothers her though like and she's got to turn something you know a an innocent question that somebody's just trying to make conversation and asking her in the chat and she's got to take it that way and make it some way to to vic be a victim and whine and it's just god i don't know Yeah, I'll name the shark. I'll name it Troll Friendly. Oh, I'm just a troll friendly shark. I'm not going to bite you. I'm just going to troll the waters. I'm just going to troll the waters, you know, make sure there's no other trolls trolling around here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Wow. She's Shit. literally playing with the toy in the tub. Like, this is giving toddler vibes at this point. Oh, is that a troll? Oh, no, it's a toe. Uh, attack. Ah! Oh, not a troll, sorry. Oh, they have all kinds of, like, bath bombs. They even, my friend posted a video I don't know where she got the clip, but someone had like a pad bath bomb, you know, shaped like a pad with blood on it. I'm like, that's Ew! so fucking gross. Why would anyone even want to use that as a bath bomb? I don't know. Um, I prefer smoking because the only time I did edibles where I actually felt anything was last year. And it was just a low, a really low feeling. Like I could hardly feel anything. And plus, I don't like the fact of eating something and then it's going to take me hours. To, like I, I, when I want to smoke, I know edibles aren't smoking, but when I want to get high, I want to get high immediately, not two hours later. Like, and honestly, I would probably need like a wheelchair to feel anything. And I prefer the act of smoking. I like to grind it up. I've actually never done edibles, but I want to. I just haven't ever gotten the chance to try them. I like to smell it. I like to blow it out of my mouth. But I think I probably honestly need like a wheelchair. A wheelchair? To feel anything. And I do not know what milligrams I took last year. I don't. I know the little drink was 90 milligrams. Other than I don't know what everything else was, but it really didn't do anything to me. Yeah, I don't know what she meant by that either, Lilith. Like, what does she mean? Uh, I need a wheelchair to feel anything. Like, let me go back and see if I heard that correctly. I like to smell. I, I like to blow it out of my mouth. But I think I probably honestly need like a wheelchair to feel anything. And I do not know what milligrams I took last year. I don't. I know the little drink was 90 milligrams. Other than I don't know what everything else was, but it really didn't do anything to me. Weird. Well, you could always, you know, smoke and eat an edible. So then you smoke, you get high, and then by the time that high might, you know, start wearing off a little bit, the other high will be kicking in. Bada bang, bada boom. Yeah, I love bathtubs. I need a bathtub. You have a bathtub. Yeah, they're, they're patrolling it. the waters. Yeah, exactly. Oh, goblin. Yeah, yeah, they're creepy looking. Three hundred thirty minutes. See, I don't know exactly what I took, but I definitely need more than what I took last time. Oh, poop glitter. I hope not. Ew. Yeah, Jesse, she's in the bath again, like always. Weirdo. <sighs> All right, Miss. I was going through my. I 
I find it hilarious. I was going through my Instagram follow requests earlier that just breeze in front of bitch. I can't stand you. Oh. I reported you. Not like that'll do anything, but I did report your fucking ugly ass, and I also blocked you, bitch. Get a fucking life. You I don't need you stalking me, you fucking what? weird, oddly shaped, funky cunt. No, with your size 16 Peggy Hill fucking feet, wearing your goddamn loafers, bitch. Fuck off. You're not following me. Bjork will knock you the fuck out, bitch. You don't think she does martial arts? She'll knock you the fuck out. She ain't gonna block you. She'll fucking sock you, bitch. Wow. Okay. It's like that. Yes, I love self-care, and I can't understand why people get so mad at my fucking bath time. I used to have two boy... Well, they weren't ever boyfriends. Um who would get so jealous of me in my bath time. So I literally quit taking baths for such a long time. But they because... weren't jealous of the bath time. It's just fucking annoying. People need that, but like, no, like people, A, you might need to use the bathroom and you're in there for hours and hours and hours. It's just not to mention costing a crap load in uh, water and wasting water. Like if you went in there and took a normal fucking bath and, and, stayed for a little while and then got out nobody would have anything to say about it but you literally spend like six hours in the tub that's ridiculous of both of these losers and it's like why you're not with either loser anymore they ain't here to tell you what the fuck to do they ain't here to cheat on your back anyways while you're in the bathtub anyway so take your bath whether you want to take a one hour bath a 12 hour bath who cares do your bath And yes, I love the feeling of smoking. I don't think edibles bring that same feeling, but I would have to like get properly, if it would work for me, I would need the right amount. I don't want to get so, you know, some people like eat a shit ton and they're like, I, I don't want that feeling. Cause I can smoke a lot of weed and get nauseous, but I mean, it has to one be really, really good weed. And two, I got to smoke a lot and it'll make me not, it'll make me nauseous. And I, what? Then I got to smoke a lot for that to happen. What? But, Weed has never, not even one time made me nauseous. Like, weed has the complete opposite effect. Like, if I smoke weed, I'm probably going to be eating afterwards. Nauseous? It makes you nauseous at times? Like, that's a weird one. I don't want to feel nauseous eating edibles either, because that, I would literally have to go to sleep. That's the only way I can get rid of that crappy feeling is to go to sleep. Um, so yeah, I don't know about edibles. And I'm just not trying to pay for edibles and like not feel the same way that I would feel like being high, like smoking. Now I'm not saying they cheated on me while I was in the bathtub. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, Guido, she's in the tub well, again. Well, this is her favorite spot. This is, I guess, the tub. You know how Trisha Paytas had the uh, kitchen floor? Well, Jessica has the bathtub. Well, one, they were going through my computer and stuff. I definitely know that. So probably while I was in the bathtub, probably talking to who, like not physically, like not someone over at my house while they're doing it, but probably, you know, on their phone doing that kind of stuff is what I mean. While they would always put their projections on me, so... No, I literally quit taking baths for a long time. So I don't care. I don't know why people hate me taking my bath time. This is my time where I just get to soak. Go brain dead and just not think about anything or try not to think. Whew, I'm sweating up a storm now, though, because I didn't have the high key. I didn't have the mixture, the hot and cold on the right mixture so I don't sweat. Oh, but I'm what? sweating my fucking ass off right now. What? Yes, I see you, MST. I can't, like, my bath has to be hot. It has to be. Like, I don't, yeah, that's weird. It's 
a different chemical. It's not blocked. I just said hi to you. God damn it. I literally just clicked on the link and unblocked you. What? You're not blocked. Calm down. I just replied. She can like, I'm telling this woman cannot handle stress at all, and she flies off the handle for no fucking reason. No fucking reason. Great chemical. It's not blocked. I just said hi to you. God damn it. I literally just clicked on the link and unblocked you. You're not blocked. I just replied to you. Rude. So rude. All right, I'm gonna block you now personally. I just fucking answered you. You don't wanna listen to me? I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm gonna block you personally. Have a good day. I, I'm gonna block your MSD account too. Have a good day. Wow. I'm not gonna fucking deal with this. Have a good day. You want to argue with me about it? I just told you you were unblocked. You want to argue with me about it? Now you can't talk. Try now. Damn. I'm not going to sit here and fucking argue with you over this. Didn't you fucking tell me the other day you were done with me anyways? So why keep coming back? Leave me the fuck alone. Uh, where's Frosty at? I don't see Frosty anywhere. Fucking messaging me on Instagram saying, oh, I'm done with you. Then be done with me. Be done with me then. I thought you were done with me, yet you keep coming back into the chat. And that was a few days ago. So how are you not done with me yet? Yeah, Magenta Dreams, for sure. She is going to end up on Snap. Mm -hmm. I agree with that 100%. And you're already blocked on Instagram, too, so don't fucking try and message me on there either because your messages aren't going to go through. Because I blocked you the other day when you said you were done with me. So don't come back, okay? Wow. Well done. <laughs> Ew. Well, goddamn, Coraline literally gives the fucking link in the chat. I click on it. I unblock him. He still wants to cry and moan and bitch after I literally said I see you. I'm not arguing with you. You're blocked. Bye. Don't have the time. After you're going to sit there and say, oh, really nice things and then tell me you're done with me, then be done with me then. You're not going to sit there and tell me all this nice shit and then the last thing you say is you're going to be then, then then be done with me and don't come back and quit crying to me. Oh, do you know how many times people Oh, let's not even go there. Uh-oh. Go there. Let's go. Go go what go. The fuck go, I didn't go. dump Josh, you fucking stupid bitch. Uh <laughs> Are you sucking your daddy's dick today? After he just stuck it on your mommy's shit-filled fucking ass, are you sucking his dick? Ew! Well, you gotta turn this on 18 and up, I guess. God dang. No, I have somewhere to be at 3.30. And it doesn't matter what it is, because it's none of your business. So I won't be in here too much longer. Yeah, good for, good for you guys. Who, who the fuck are you telling to grow up, bitch? Wow. Why does she do this? I don't even know why. She do I have too much on. negativity in my life? Yeah, but it's not my problem. It's you people. Of course it is. I love how these abusers do the most and then act like it's my fault. Oh my god. Do they not denial. realize that they're abusing me? You are in denial. You're not being abused. You're so fucking retarded, you can't even spell. Huh. 
No, you should actually do um, subscribers of five months or so. I would lose everyone in my chat. You should do like five months. No, I don't remember the last time I've been to the beach. It's It's been years. It's been ages, probably well over 10 years. Well, that sucks because on laptop you can you can change it. One time I fucking trolled people. I had it on for like a year or so. It was even before the trolls I had before Josh. I changed it to like a year or like nine months or something and no one could fucking talk. I was like, well, except for like maybe one or two people. I said, ha, 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 none of you can talk in my chat because none of you have been subscribed to me for that long. Ha, ha. Wow, you really showed them. Yeah, but it could be very well different on the phone. I just thought it was funny I did that one night and then everyone was like, I can't talk in your chat. I thought I was subscribed to you for that long. I'm like, no, you weren't. You didn't even know me back then, you dodo brain bitch. Nice try. If you can't talk in my chat, you weren't you didn't know me back then. You're so nasty. For no reason. Uh they weren't fans though. They weren't fans. They were trolls. So I changed it to like nine months or so. That's probably I don't think it was I think it was like nine months and yeah, only a few people could talk because one, they were not trolls. They were before I had any trolls on my chat. And yeah, I thought it was pretty fucking funny. Because everyone thought they could come in my chat and talk and ruin me, and now they couldn't. My cats are great. Nice one, Shane. Jessica. Ollie's soaking out. Soaking out. <laughs> soaking up the nice weather in the backyard. Because that's what my Ollie does when it's nice out. He's outside. <laughs> Favorite drink? Oh, it used to be Dr. Pepper. Um, I actually have a Dr. Pepper right now, but it's definitely not Dr. Pepper anymore. And I, I'm sad because I loved Dr. Pepper, but it's just, yeah. I don't know. Probably energy drink, I guess. That's kind of sad to say. Why'd you give up Dr. Pepper? Tangerine Red Bull. <laughs> um, shits and giggles, it is not a hammer. It's a tripod leg. The leg of the tripod, because she's you know, filming. I w it would be hilarious if she dropped the fucking phone in the water. Yeah, there's a shark. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I can't, ugh, Celsius is so gross to me. Yes, I've had all kinds of animals growing up. I've had, I've had mice, I've had hamsters, I've had gerbils, I've had dogs, birds, fish. I have had the strawberries and cream. It was all right. No, that's when it changed. It was last summer. That's when it changed. It was summertime. I was doing a live stream. I think I was already not liking the Dr. Pepper. And I bought some. I tried it. And it was like super just, ugh. And yeah, I. it's not been the same since. So... I don't know my favorite weed strain. I, I have not been lucky enough to smoke all the good weed in the world. Oh my god. You're so unlucky. Life is so unfair. Aw, Care Bear Bath. Aw, that sounds cute. Who's got Care Bear Bath bombs? Are they like actually shaped like the bears or what? All right, she's kind of boring me. Should I fast forward and skip through a little bit of this? Just talking about fucking Care Bears and shit. Yeah, that would be nice, Hooded. Do I like Mexican food? Yes. I don't know what you retards are talking about, so how about you uh, find your nearest bathtub and you know what to do? No, what? How about you lick my fat clit and choke Ew! on it? Uh, 
Don't say that. It's so gross. Why? Yeah, I would travel there if I had the money. Travel where? Casper? Oh yeah, it's scamy, Shane. Uh, that def I could definitely see it. I could definitely see it. Uh, my I dream, mean, I don't dream. Know. Wow. See, I take the T off of travel and replace. I, I don't know why my brain does it. My dream travel. I don't know. I don't know, but there used to be this one YouTuber. I don't know where she was. It Croatia or something? I don't know. Not that I, I don't know anything about Croatia. I just think she showed the water there, and it was just so beautiful. I don't know. Somewhere with really absolutely beautiful water and the beach. Would love to go to Japan. I don't know. I, I don't have any specific place. Just wherever it's really beautiful. I really don't care. King lives where? I've already been to Iceland. Well then, you're lucky. All right, I'm going to speed her up a little bit more, I think. Let's see. She's probably going to sound like she's talking a little fast. Hi, Crimson Tiger. How are you doing? Hi, Maggie. Really, Maggie? Well, I'm taking a bath, obviously, with my troll-friendly bath bomb. And then I got stuff to do. Like what? Yeah, I need somewhere that has a lot of nature. I don't know. You'd have to ask Josh. Have I been to Yellowstone? No. No, I need somewhere with a lot of nature. That's why Wyoming was beautiful. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a lot of nature. There's a lot of just open space, not so much trees and stuff. More trees would have been nice, but. No, I need somewhere with a lot of nature. And there's no tunes because my laptop is upstairs. Thank God. I like all kinds of music. And yeah, five hour drive. Yeah, someone else would have to do that. Because if it's on the highway, I won't be able to do it. I will have a literal panic attack. So if there's no back roads or what, if it's just highway, I won't be able to do it. So. Wow. That's not good. Right, Shane? But yeah, I don't know. I looked at the phone earlier and said it was 76. But it's probably like the same. It's probably all gloomy and white outside because they're trying to block out the sun. So, yeah, always on the cold days. Nice, blue, beautiful, clear skies, but it's cold. On nice days, gloomy. What does it smell like? Well, I think it said it was like supposed to smell like the ocean air and like the, you know, water. But it smells more like. You know, and candles do like that clean laundry scent, but not as, it's not at such a cloying or whatever, like, it's not as strong as that. So, like, it kind of smells like that in a sense, but not as bad. Like, it smells good. It's not going to give me a headache um, or nothing. 
Lilith, Josh has not been streaming that much, but he has been making videos and posting those. In fact, I'll probably um, be showing one uh, in just a little while. But, the, and that's why I'm showing, I'm going to be showing this one because uh, apparently he got another strike on his channel and he's suspended or whatever from uh, posting anything for two weeks. Nothing, but it doesn't smell like the ocean. Not that the ocean smells good, but it smells more like clean laundry scent than like trying to capture the ocean is what I'm trying to say. But it's a very pretty color. And thank you, troll. Non-friendly, non, I don't know, whatever you are. <laughs> that sucks. It only sprinkled a little bit yesterday, as far as I know. It didn't rain any harder than that, thank God. Yes, it is. I, I raised caterpillar. I raised, well, I guess they are caterpillars. I raised caterpillars, you know, to turn them into butterflies for a little bit. But once you get into that and you start learning, you know, butterflies get diseases and they have like predators and all. Oh my God. It's like, and then you spend all this time watching this little caterpillar grow and then it dies and then your heart's broken. And it's like, oh, it's just a little caterpillar, but it's not, you know, it could have been a beautiful butterfly. And yeah, it's. <sighs> There's if you're a, strong, you can do it. And it's a lot of work, too. Like, you think, oh, there's a deeper message behind what she just said, but I don't think she's going to ever get it. But listen to that again. And, you know, butterflies get diseases and they, I, I raised caterpillars, I raised, well, I guess they are caterpillars, I raised caterpillars, you know, to turn them into butterflies for a little bit. But once you get into that and you start learning, you know, butterflies get diseases and they have like predators and all, oh my God. It's like, and then you spend all this time watching this little caterpillar grow, and then it dies, and then your heart's broken, and it's like, oh, it's just a little caterpillar, but it's not, you know, it could have been a beautiful butterfly, and yeah, it's, <sighs> if you're strong, you can do it, and it's a lot of work, too, like, you think, oh, it's just a bug, like, oh, like, make sure it has its food, to no, it takes a lot of work, so you gotta be dedicated to all of that shit. Well, exactly. I'll use a bath bomb. Like, that's not going to hurt me. So I don't know how it's a troll. But, oh, I wish they would send me cat litter. I have cats. I could use the cat litter. But they won't. They'll send it to Josh knowing, you know, it's pointless for him. So, yeah, I'll use the bath bomb. I'll just take a picture of it farm or fam farm whatever your name is just take a picture of it and then do a video and then you can have the memory of the video and you have a picture and then you get to enjoy the water oh i'm not complaining i appreciate it you know because i will use it you know and Next time I use the little black ones, I'm going to open them all up and use them all because I only used two last time. So the water, it was black, but like you could still like see through, you know, the bottom. So next time I'll just open all of them up and boom. No, I don't have a P.O. box. They got my fucking address because almost everyone has my address because these people are assholes. That's how they got it. It wasn't because it was on my wish list or anything. So... I have six cats. She has six cats? Yeah, they're literally... What? I had no idea this woman had six cats. She only talks about one. I mean, I knew there was another one. Like, she has a... Had a I knew there was a couple. I did not know she had six cats. That's kind of crazy. Really wasting their money. I don't understand it. It's like, so you like to waste your money on someone you hate? It's like, you don't even have enough love in your heart for oh like hey maybe Susie q down the street is hungry today i could be spending my money on giving her a meal or 
buying her some flowers and cheer her day up or something. But I'd rather send, spend my money on someone I hate. Because that's such a productive thing to do. So you literally got unblocked to say I am cat. Really? What? <laughs> Josh doesn't need to send me any snacks. I've got food. A paid interview for what and how much money? Because actually I'm not doing any interviews without being paid up front. And then, oh, if people think I'm gonna take the money and run, well, I showed up to see Josh twice, right? Didn't have GoFundMe go money, but have I proved myself to people yet or not? No. I'm not doing any interviews without getting paid up front and knowing exactly every question they're going to ask me beforehand because I'm not going to be caught in nothing because I will literally end the interview. So I'm just warning people right now. I'm not in no fucking mood to play games with nobody. Does Josh like Dr. P I have no idea. I didn't ask him. I know he likes root beer and Mountain Dew. But I'm not sure. Oh God, now teddy bears in the chat. Do y'all see that? I did not ask him. Idiot. Uh, no, half now, half after the interview is not fair. Nope, I'm not doing no interview then. Absolutely not. Nope, I've played these games my whole fucking life. Nope. No, nope. people will either do what I want or I will not give them what they want. No, we're not doing half and half. No. Either you trust me or there's no fucking interview. Simple as that. And plus, I'm probably going to say no to the interview anyways. So, no interviews, period. There, that solves everything. No interview. Well, that solves every problem, doesn't it? And now we're all happy. Good. I'm glad we've all come to that decision. Thank you. Can y'all see what Teddy Bear said? He said, what are the guidelines to not get banned? I think you should give people the rules so they can know what to follow. He's worried about getting banned. He wants to be up in the mix. What a loser. Like, you follow rules anyway, dumbass. I don't know why my dad wouldn't like Josh. He's a sweet guy. Sweeter than to me than any other guy has ever been, so I don't see why he wouldn't like him. A favorite song or band? No, I haven't gotten any new music in for Actually, speaking of new, I haven't even listened to Jenny Lewis's new album. I don't even know when that came out. I don't know if it came out last year or this year. I haven't even listened to Jenny Lewis's new album. And song, I don't. I like too many songs. It depends on how I feel at the moment. I like way too many of too much. So I couldn't just pinpoint one thing right now. Thank you, Bloody Moon. I appreciate it. Bye, Rabbit Old Bat. Good seeing you. Did they get banned? I don't know. Did they get banned? Thank you, Bloody Moon. I mean, I would have done more for Josh if I had the time. Well, honestly, Josh's kitchen would have been clean the first go around if I knew he had a garbage disposal thing. I didn't know he. I didn't know. I literally found out the last day, like right before I had to leave to go to the airport. He had it. I was like, well, fuck, if I knew that I could have cleaned your sink. And, uh, and if I would have done his sink, then I would have done. So his shit would have been done the first time around. But I'm stupid, too, sometimes. I'm not going to lie. That's why I didn't know the tub problem could have been fixed with a little. He's got like where I have a screw. He's got a little switch. Thing. Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have fixed his tub problem and leaking problem the first time around. But I try to do what I can with what little brain cells I have left. But yeah, I mean, I know, whatever. He's not going to be there much longer anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But I do wish I could have done a little bit more. But I also do appreciate people appreciating what I did for Josh, even though I did it for Josh and not you guys. Um, I do appreciate that people like what I did for him. And even his dad could tell that I, I cleaned his bathroom and the kitchen for him. He was really impressed. So, But I'm not doing it to impress people. I'm doing it because he's my boyfriend, and, you know, it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. But it's no, it's no judgment. You're doing it to prove to him that that's how you are and so that way he might want to live with you that's what i think you were doing towards him i do it because i love him 
my favorite color of opal. I don't know. I haven't seen all the opals in the world. I mean, I'm not saying like every single end of it, you know, I'm saying like just like all the types. Like, I don't know all of the types, so I would have to. No, it's got, yeah, it's got a hole in the back. Well, I banned people too, so if someone. Oh, apparently. Oh, you called me Queef Cobra, though. You yep. called me Queef Cobra, so you are going to get banned. So goodbye. Queef so they were banned Cobra. for a reason, apparently, because they called me Queef Cobra. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> oh, could be a typo, but um, I've seen that name plenty of times. So I'm not playing around with motherfuckers, all right? Get them. Get them, girl. He does like me. I hope he does. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, really, Lilith? It's not real, you think? The fire opal ring? That wouldn't surprise me. It... I mean, it's a pretty ring, but... Yeah, I I question it looked a little on the cheap side to me. Not trying to be like, you know, uh snooty or anything, but Michael, it's put on your uh fucking heels. Not boots. Put on your uh fuck 'em heels and say fuck 'em girl. Fuck 'em. All right, I hope it's a typo. I'll fucking unblock 'em, but I'm I'm literally so over this shit. <sighs> I'm trying to have a good day. I, I'm so tired. I don't know what I've done to anyone. Just because I like Josh? Well, if it's a criminal act, then put me in jail, please. If it's a criminal act to like someone who has autism, throw me in jail. I, I will gladly accept it. Please what? come get me. If it's I'm so what? tired of being treated like this for nothing. Um... No, it means a lot, Bloody Moon. Yeah, see, it can't be a typo. I'll give him one motherfucking last chance. I'm not doing this. Calm down. No. Uh, oh, you find it funny? Okay, well then, let me have everything that's happened to me since, like, September or October happen to you up until now, every day, and then I'll ask you if you find it fucking funny. Stupid cunt. I'll ask you, when you go through everything I've been through, if it's funny, as I pinch your cheeks and pat you on the head. Like a little dog that you are. Oh, wow. You don't get to tell me what's funny, cunt. Wow. Why is she so mean? I mean, just hateful. Hi, Clay. How are you? What's going on? Do you sell your Clay things, or do you just make that stuff for fun? Aw, Machete's upset snowflakes. Aw, well, that's their problem then. What the hell? Well, if I'm doing the there's no guy. Teddy Mary's in the chat and said, I have a touch of the tism. So Teddy Bear's trying to say he's autistic now? Are you fucking kidding me? If I don't want you to fuck in here, bye, block. What? I'm tired of being trolled. Oh, this person's nice. Oh, this. Oh, and no, the fuck they're not. So I'll, I'll be stupid and give them one last fucking chance. Now, where'd my bong go? God damn it. Bong hit. I've had this bong hit in here for well over an hour now. And I haven't smoked. Did I even take a bong hit today? 
we'll take well, I know I finished what was in the bong, which wasn't, so I don't even think I took a, did I even take a proper bong hit today? I don't think I did. Well, take one and shut up. I've tried to play guitar before a long time. Well, not, not bass guitar. Is it bass? 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 I don't even, I don't, I don't even know anymore. I'm so, my brain is like done for. Anyways. Is it bass or bass? Girl, no. You knew that. You knew that wasn't right, right? You had to know that wasn't bass and it was bass. Come on. Not not that kind of guitar, but I tried and my friend said my fingers were too People on here said my fingers are not too small, but I don't know. Like they don't stretch very far. I don't know. He tried teaching me a long time ago, but Well, they say the nasty, they say and do the nastiest things to me, but then when I open my mouth, oh, I'm so vile. Well, where do you think I learned it from? I've been bullied my whole fucking life. Oh, if you don't say anything to them or stick up for yourself, they'll just keep doing it. Then you go back, oh, she hurt my fifis. I've never once punched a motherfucker out. Never. Not once in my life. Well, they just knock a motherfucker out. Never. Everything. I wish in school I would have because, you know, other people that deal with bullying, oh, like, you know, they're like the shy kids. I've always been so terrified of getting in trouble as a kid. I just wanted to be the good little fucking kid because I hated getting in trouble for especially stuff I didn't do. So I never touched a motherfucker as bad as I wanted to. I've got the anger in me. I could do it. Yeah. I just have the restraint. But reading about other little shy kids and they're just like, I socked them once and they ne they left me alone. God damn. I, I wish I would have. Would I have gotten Yeah. Just a lurker. The tripod is in the water with her. Mm -hmm. Spelled? I don't know. I'd be the bad one if I put my hands on him, though. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, I'd be the bad one when I finally take a fucking punch. Never once socked a motherfucker. I should have. But you don't stick up for yourself. But keep doing it. You say something to me. Whoa. I wonder where me and Josh get our fucking dirty, vile mouths from. Whoa. I gotta hear that again. That sounded awesome. Hold on. Let me turn it. Let me slow it down a little bit. But you don't stick up for yourself. They'll keep doing it. You say something to and, and they wonder where me and Josh get our fucking dirty, vile mouths from. Well, we learn it from you. One more time. But you don't stick up for yourself. They'll keep doing it. You say something to Love it. And they wonder where me and Josh get our fucking dirty, vile mouths from. Well, we learn it from you. Oh, that's everybody else's fault. Okay. Right. Girl, come on. You didn't cause a fuss. You didn't cause a fuss. I'm tired of people lying to me, pretending that they're good when they're fucking secret trolls. You didn't do anything. You're doing nothing but being kind to me. Oh my and helping God. me. You're not now Teddy Bear says, if you could say one thing to the reaction channels, what would you say? Tell us, Queen. Doing anything wrong. I learned it from watching you, all right? I learned it from watching you. That commercial, that, or that uh, ad for like Dare or something. Where did you get this? For 17 years. Well, it, it pisses me off because they act like people with autism aren't allowed to be loved or anything. So, like, literally, I wonder if these people, if any of them have kids, if any of their kids have autism. Because if they do, that would be very sick, the way they treat Josh, knowing that they would have it. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully none of these people have kids. Hopefully none of them have kids. Uh, hope I, we can say the same for but you. But it's like, okay, if he didn't have autism, would he be fucking picked on? Like, oh, I, I don't get it. And they think, oh, because someone's different, it's okay to, no. Like, these people have never been in their lives. Well, I don't know who banned you. I have no idea. Exactly, Monica. They're just as vile as me, but they like to fake 
a, a fake outrage. But no, in fact, they're more vile than I am because I don't go do this stuff to people. Hey, if there's someone on the internet I don't like, if I can block them, I block them and get the fuck away from them. And hopefully, I ne hopefully I never see them again. Oh, what's the drink? Oh, there's no drink combo. It's just a Dr. Pepper. She's still holding that bong and hasn't hit it. Like, girl, put the fucking phone down or whatever and hit the bong. You're making me anxious holding the shit. Like, just hit it already. No, but I need an energy drink. That's what I need. <laughs> I haven't had a yellow one in I don't know how many days. So oh definitely need God. a Red Bull. She hasn't had a yellow Red Bull in days. What? Can you believe it? That's torture. And probably like a Gator. I just want the fierce melon Gatorade, but I don't know any place that has it. They always choose like the basic flavors. And it's like, Ugh. But yeah, I'm in the mood for like a Gatorade and like a Red Bull no alcohol probably like an ice cold water too and i'll go get all that when i leave the house i just got a little bit soda left Oh, you like the cucumber melon? Ugh. I don't like any of the Red Bulls except for the tropical and the tangerine. I can't handle Red Bull and shit. Like, I used to like it, but now if I try to drink it, it's just way too sweet way too sweet but i also don't like energy drinks because i ha have anxiety and shit and i don't like to be i don't need anything to hype me up i'm hype enough so you do cosplay and people just say nasty shit to you Right, Maddie? I I know, like, Michael drinks them, too, a lot, but I, yeah, uh, I can't, I'm just like, mm, not gonna risk it. I don't want to feel, I don't want to feel anxious or jittery or whatever. It doesn't affect Michael like that, though. He can literally drink a Red Bull and, like, go to sleep. It doesn't bother him. He got suspended. That's good. Sorry, my chat freezes sometimes. So it was like. My Hunter, it's making me nervous. Like she won't hit it. She's just holding it and, and right above the water. And it's like, dude, do something. Well, I don't. <laughs> Ugh, I cannot do the cucumber. Ugh. I don't know if that's the one I had in Florida, but there was a cucumber something in Florida, and I made everyone try it because it was so disgusting. I don't know if it was that one. It, it could have been, but I will never buy the cucumber one ever again. It was so, it was like literally the worst flavor I had ever tried in my life. So I don't know if it was, it was cucumber something. So whether it was melon, whatever, it doesn't matter. It was so bad. And I bet you probably can't say anything back if you're like dressed up because I would rip them. I would rip them a new fucking asshole. Who? Oh, okay, now, you block him. So now Teddy Bear's trying to talk shit to Breezy? Do y'all see that? Teddy Bear said, Breezy, try using her saggy tube socks to get men on YouTube. What? 
What is that about? Oh, I see. Here, I got him. Oh, relationships are supposed to be easy for women. Um, okay. Or easier? Yeah, okay. Well, they're not supposed to be hard. I mean, at times it is hard, but you go beyond that. It's like people, if you, if you don't act the same, if you don't act the same way as someone else and do the same things the way they want you to, it's like, okay, but I thought that was the whole point of the world is that the, we're all different and the world wouldn't be fun if we were all, if we all thought the same. So it's like, I, I don't understand that people get so mad when people do things differently than them. Uh, it makes no sense. Oh yeah, I blocked you. So who unblocked you? That's the real question. Who unblocked you? I blocked you. Stay blocked. Remember, I, I blocked you. So don't come back. That's what I said, right? I said, you're blocked. What would I tell them? Get their own motherfucking content, bitch. Get your own content, you retard. Oh, you're a fucking fat fucking thief who sits on his ass all day, male or female. You can't make your own shit. Get your own content, bitch. Oh, oh Anna, oop. Anna, oop. What do you mean they have my snuck in a email? They were just in here earlier and I blocked them. So either the rogue mod unblocked them or they made a new account. Yeah, I think so, Lilith. I think she was answering his when he asked if you could say one thing to reaction channels, what would it be? Are you I off just, work already, Michael? I just need a big enough bathtub. One that I can, like, I don't know. It's, like, molded to my body to where I can mostly lay all the way down, but have a little, you know, I don't know. Something to where I can mostly be all the way in the water, except for my, like, neck and head. And, yeah, I just need a big enough bathtub. That's all. Is she ever going to hit that pipe? Or, I mean, that bong? Oh, it was cracked. That's sad. Do I have a favorite bath bomb? Um, if I had to choose, I mean, there's a lot I like. If I had to choose, probably Hokkaido from Lush, but that's like a one-off thing. They, It's not like a permanent. I don't even know if that was the fake breezy or not. I don't care. She's so mentally insane. The bitch needs to get the fuck away from me with her crazy looking eyes. What? Like, can you can you wear sunglasses when you like? Seriously, no nobody wants to look at your face. Seriously, you you disturb crazy. me. Your eyeballs are eyes. disturbing because you're a very disturbed, ugly cunt. What? And then, breezy's eyes are. What is wrong with breezy's eyes? They look perfectly fine. Dumb cunt thought she could literally request to follow me on uh, Instagram. No, you're ugly. You scare the fuck out of me. I, I don't want your bad juju fucking size 16 wearing loafer foot vibes all over my fucking Instagram. No. Oh, she's disturbing as fuck. Disturbia was probably written about her. It was really her? Ew. I don't know if it was really her the other night then, because if it was her the other night, someone unblocked the fucking cunt. 
whether it was her or, or not the other night, I don't know, but she's so fucking ugly. Get your eyeballs checked. Maybe like see if they can push them back into your fucking skull socket a little bit further. Unsand Paku them, like uncrazy them. Do something to them. Put, put some fucking sunglasses on. Do something. I don't want to look at your ugly eyes. They creep me the fuck out. They disturb my soul. They fucking burn a hole in my heart. Oh, yeah, she looks like fucking Jay Leno. It looks like Jay Leno procreated with himself, and that thing popped out. Oh, really? Nick is live again? What kind of food hack are you doing? No, she looks just like that crazy girlfriend fucking... And I know it's pronounced meme, or I call them meanies. I don't care. I will never not call them meanies, because... And I don't care, my man. It will, have I ever heard of some word? No, I've never heard of that word. But I've heard a meme, and I don't like that. It's meanie. Are y'all curious at all at what Nick Bravo is saying, or do you want to continue watching uh, Queen? Yes, I've seen that crazy girl Mimi, and she literally, someone needs to Photoshop her face on there. How come nobody's done that yet? Here, I'll do a poll. I'll just do a poll. Like, that's all good. But how come nobody has Photoshopped her fucking face on there yet? Ethan, that dude, yes, I just asked you what you did at Taco Bell. No, you don't look her up great, Alien. She'll, she'll disturb you to your core. Please don't. She's got eyes. Look at her. If you look at her, you'll turn to stone, so don't do it. Oh, she's deranged. Yes, Miss Information, I can see you. That's cool, Ethan. You should do a video in honor of my boyfriend. Oh, Forever, Forever Brandy, that would be hilarious. She looks just like that. He made those ribs that one day. And he only saved me one piece, because that's fine. I was not feeling, I seriously was like not hungry at all like for a few days but oh, i had one and it was honestly it was not look teddy bears talking shit about me in the chat isn't that cute same thing carrie does to her husband you are so pathetic dude you just can't go somewhere and not bring me up and it's sad bad Very like seriously weird. i was in bed and i woke up because i could smell the stuff cook it smelled really good but that's all he cooked. I honestly, I would have had a lot more to eat in Wyoming if um, I felt good. No, they weren't burnt. They weren't burnt at all. No, you don't want to know about Breezy because one, look at her eyeballs you'll turn a stone and two uh her voice turn to will, stone. will make you wish that you were deaf seriously all right if you have not voted in the poll do so now i'm gonna be ending it in just a minute Finally hit it. God, only took what an hour. Oh, Coraline, she got something to drink. That sober Kelly mama got something to drink on the side. <coughs> you just don't know about Coraline. Wink, wink. Oh, boo, it's time. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Don't throw up. 
don't throw up. Yeah, she's Cali Sound. I've never even seen the bitch fucking smoke weed. Come on, bitch. Take a puff of a joint. And don't Bill Clinton me either. And Tell don't Bill Clinton to go women here. <laughs> Yeah, Mermaid's Full. I saw that, too. <coughs> yeah. Todd's over in Nick's chat talking shit. He's almost as bad as Teddy Bear. Todd Malicote, like, he brings me up almost everywhere he goes. It's like, wow. Dude. Calm down. Yes, she beats up people. I've never laid a hand on my parents or my grandparents or anyone for them, not even bullies. The only time I've ever punched someone was at that one concert when the two little gutter sluts kept running through me every time and stepping on my feet. And so I popped her. All right, I'm giving it the poll one more minute, okay? So you have one more minute to vote. After that, you, I'm going to call it and then in between the neck and the shoulder. Other than that, I've never laid hands on... Well, and then that other time at the other concert when the girls started attacking the guy for no reason. But I'm sorry. I don't care if if you're a woman attacking a guy. That guy needs to be protected, too. He was just in the mosh pit doing nothing, hurting nobody. She really thought she's going to lay his hands on him like that. Hmm. Other than that, I have not touched anybody. She literally beats up her old grandpa and says, because he's Native American... That's like okay for her to do. Cause I guess it reminded her of like, I'm not, I'm not gonna be that fucked up, but you know what I'm saying. She's the one that laid hands on him. He said how, and she said how hard. She said, she said, Putin, put your dukes up, bitch, how hard, motherfucker. What is she Literally, she makes up excuses me? for putting her hands on her grandfather. I've never touched my parents. Girl, you do not need to go there. You do not need to go there. You literally got in a physical fight with your dad. We don't know exactly what happened, but you are yelling and screaming at them like you are abusive. Don't fool yourself. You are definitely fucking abusive. Busy little beep. Oh, I know. I saw what Breezen did. So it looks like Jessica Queen Cobra has won the poll. So we're going to continue watching on here. And then we might watch the next stuff later. She took her. And yes, what Breezen did is considered uh, revenge porn. Okay, good. She pixelated it all out. But um, y you don't get to do this kind of stuff. Just wait, Breezen, until it happens to your daughter and you have no control over it. Maybe you'll be slapped in the motherfucking face. You have a kid. What kind of example are you setting for your kid? I don't even think you have custody of your kid because all you do is stream snipe people. Where do you have the time for, oh no, not right now, honey. I've got a, I've, I've got a stream uh, Queen Cobra JB. Mommy, what's a Queen Cobra J uh, Don't worry, honey, it, it doesn't matter. Just go sit down, little Breeze. I, I need a, I need a snipe. I need a snipe. Mommy needs a snipe. If I don't have to snipe, I need a drink. And if I don't have a drink, I'm gonna flip off a balcony. Okay? So let mommy snipe right now. All right? You don't understand. I need to snipe. Go in the corner and be a good girl. I need to snipe right now. You don't get it, you guys. I, I flipped off of a 40-foot balcony and I broke my neck and my back. And then when the paramedics got there, I asked them if they could lick my pussy and my crack. Ew. But they were like, ma'am, ma'am, you smell like barracuda and ricotta. And, and you also smell like pimp juice. And you also smell like a f fucking bottle of Don Julio. No, I, I don't want any. No, ma'am, wow. we're here to take you to the hospital. We don't want to lick your pussy or your crack. Your neck and your back are broken, yes. You might have 1% of survival. Wow. I am just like, she's awful. You are awful. 
Jesus. No, she didn't fall. She literally claimed she did a backflip. God. Just disgusting. Totally disgusting. Oh, yeah, Breezy did revenge porn on Busy's husband. Um, you can't see anything, uh, but yeah, she did, I think, on Twitter. And I only know that I don't have Twitter anymore, but I know that because um, I follow, what's his name, uh, Gaming Ground, and he had a community post, and I saw that this morning. I'm like, oh, my God, this bitch is so fucking disgusting. Busy needs, like, it's hard because their names both are Busy and Breezy. They're too close together. <laughs> Busy needs to come after that bitch. That Busy chick already does come after her. What are you talking about? Oh, literally, she did the backflip off the balcony so she wouldn't get caught trouble drinking. Okay, so doing a backflip off a balcony because you don't want to get caught drinking is worth breaking your supposed <laughs> your supposed neck and back over. I, girl, I would, I think I would rather get busted drinking. I do tell it like it is, and people can't fucking stand it. Oh, that's what we can't stand. You're not telling it. Oh, like her daughter that. has a YouTube channel? Oh, terms of service. Hmm, you should drop the link. Oh, wait, you no. can't drop the link, but someone should find it. And No. What the fuck is wrong with you? God. Share it with me on uh, Instagram. And, um. Like, what yeah. the fuck is wrong with you? Leave her kid out of it. I would never be on her fucking panel. Ew, gross. Exactly. Why would it be such a big deal? Like, who who are you partying with? The mafia? Like, in time, okay. So I'm gonna break my neck and my back in the process. tangled bliss of course i definitely will can you guys put some hearts in the chat for tangled bliss and her daughter Paige today um sending you lots of love tangled bliss uh courtney has a rogue mod now courtney has a rogue mod she modded Kristen, and Kristen changed her name to queen cobra and was blocking anyone who said nice things in my chat Kristen is involved with Messica. Courtney is not new to Messica. Courtney's known her for like two years now. And um, anyone who knows Messica knows she's bad news. And literally Courtney modded one of my rogue mods. Yeah, on her channel. Kristen. Because my mod has the proof. Because Kristen's fucking stupid and left proof up on her thing to show that it was her. So Courtney has the rogue mod Kristen now on her channel. All these rogue mods. So crazy. It's like... She's we, so like, weird. This is like organized crime and shit now. Like, there's all kinds of like... It's just crazy the links and the, that all of this shit goes to. Like... So weird. Wild. They all want my attention. I don't want to give them my attention. Yeah, you do. Oh, I feel you, Tangle Bliss. The voices. I used to be really good at voices when I was younger, but whatever kind of throat problem I have, like, and you know, I'm very hard on myself about a lot of things, but I. No, uh, DL, she, uh, she's talking about Breezy right now, I think. That's who she's been talking about. I do think I cook good and I used to do really good voices but my voices have seriously like <clears throat> deteriorated I can't even like do any of them anymore I mean yeah I can still do voices but not like impersonations so I'm kind of sad about that mm. 
Right, Maureen, I get it. Yeah, sending nudes to a man that literally stabbed his girlfriend and she ended up dying like a few years later. That's... Why would I want to go on panel with her? Ew. Why would I want to be seen next to that? No, he has no complaints, baby doll. <laughs> I'm not trying to be nasty, but he has no complaints. Yeah, I, I think he might, actually. I think he might have com some complaints. The baby goes. <laughs> oh my god, now she's going to start making weird noises again. Hey, Breezy, you want to smoke some weed? You want hey, Breezy, you Kelly girl, you? That's not God, how I would never, out. out of all the bitches that live in Cali, I would never think you as a California girl, especially sober. <laughs> You're hey, Breezy, stupid. you want to get high? You want to smoke a bong, Breezy? Are you no. want to show drugs on your channel? This is just... Do you want to, like... Smoke some drugs, some devil's lettuce. Yes, bitch. Yes, yes. And get high. Do you like drugs? I like drugs. Let's smoke some weed. Let's get high. It's, it's my tripod. Didn't she say she has an appointment or something? Girl, don't you have to finish getting ready? Yeah, a shark was in the bath bomb. Yeah, well, I don't have a yeast infection, so. Ew. Don't need to know that. Granny Queef. I just wish my camera would focus for once, but. It's just, this is so weird. Like, how long do you need to be in the fucking bath? I just don't understand it. I don't know. Who are you? You could have been blocked. But I don't, I don't know who you are. Jam bands? I have no idea. I have some old blush bath bombs. And then I have the um, little black bath bombs that that one subscriber bought me. But I'm not using those today. And the next time... <coughs> Sorry. The next time I do use them... Robbie, that's what I was thinking too. If that, that didn't she say she had an appointment at like three or something? And it's got to be time now. I mean, she's an hour ahead of me, and it's two thirty here. I'm gonna use them all at once, so I hope she doesn't mind. <sighs> Thank you. 
Um, it's supposed to smell like the ocean and like the sea air, but it smells more like clean laundry, but not like that like really bad scent. It's more like toned down, I guess. A pool party concert? It sounds like you've done a lot of interesting things in your life. No, no coconut. Somebody was saying the other day that uh, Latiti was acquitted or something. Does anybody know anything about that? Love notes for TLC being acquitted of of some of her, I guess, charges or whatever. I don't know. I didn't hear anything else about it. So I don't know if that person was for sure or what. I don't know. I just feel like there's something wrong with my throat. Maybe all the. F I need to make myself louder. Am I too low? Here, I can turn up. I can turn up. Turn up. All right. Is that a little bit better? Hopefully, that's better for you. Lim and whatever over the years. I don't know. Because I just can't do the voices anymore. <clears throat> I love the smell of like coconut. I actually do have some stuff I bought it last year. I haven't even used it. But the other day when I was sitting outside for just that little bit and I said like my foot was red. Yeah, I already have a tan on my foot. I was like, damn. You already have a tan on your foot. Before it gets too extremely hot and um, I need to start using that stuff. Cause yeah, I bought it last year. Smell, oh, shit. I bought it last year. It smells really good. I just, uh, haven't used it yet. It's 323. Ew, Shane. That's awful. Uh, I thought I had a friend in Vegas, but <laughs> you could take that literally two ways. I thought I had a friend in Vegas, but she would rather be in with the trolls who are doing the most to me so i'm like ah, okay as much as you pretend to love me you obviously don't love me enough because if you were actually a true friend you wouldn't watch by and see all of this shit happening to me and and then just say oh it's just youtube no it's my life bitch it's not youtube so i had to drop her because she she can't uh She can't have one good friend. She'd rather have many fake friends. So I'm like, that's fine. You literally stabbed me in the heart with some of the stuff you said. But it's whatever. I'm not sure who she's talking about. Which friend? Robbie, do you know? Robbie's kind of our queen expert around here. He knows a lot about her about Jessica. Why am I smelling Wendy's? <laughs> Crescent fresh. What's up, everyone? No, oh, I need to get going soon. How long is it? You know what? There's something wrong with my phone. Yeah, probably because you punch it and throw it all the time. Or maybe it's when I, like, get off and it's buffering, maybe it restarts. But it says I've been on for 35, and that's a lie. I don't know. Maybe it restarts or something, but 
but that's definitely a lie. Huh. I don't care if you follow me on Instagram, as long as you're not going to send me nasty messages. Okay, two hours? Okay. Yeah, it was only supposed to be an hour. <laughs> I literally said, I literally said to my friend, one hour, but obviously my thing is messed up, so. I'm doing. That's what I was thinking to you, Robbie, was of uh, Bali. That's all I can do. I'm doing. All right, you're starting to bore me. How long can you possibly just sit here and do this? All right, I'm gonna skip through some of this. Let's see, let's speed through a little bit more. I said, cause what is it? They're like warm blooded, right? I think that's the thing. No, that's funny. Cause I've said that about myself before. An hour and 48 minutes. She's been in there for an hour and 48 minutes. Yeah, it's a little short. Wow. It's adorable. I call it Twitter, but I don't have Twitter. I got rid of it. He became his boss. That's funny. The <laughs> fuck around. And, that's hilarious. Well, you wish. We're going to cover whatever he's saying in just a minute. We're almost done here with her. Good for you, Ponder. That's... It sounds. <laughs> Had a heat stroke before, that sucks. Your cat takes it. I'm glad my cat doesn't play with it. A shark squishmallow. Oh, they have Sanrio squishmallows. I mean, not that I want one or anything. Maybe if they had one, like, in a character I wanted or whatever, but I don't really have... Sometimes I forget about that. Like a boy. I'm talking about people... When I was growing up, I'm just saying, like... I hated dresses growing up, but yet I was always... So I don't know why I didn't wear dresses to... Like, I don't... I'm just talking out loud. I don't think I look like a boy. And I think I look even better today than I did yesterday. My face looks... I need to get more of that skincare stuff. Oh my goodness. So, probably when I get that money on Friday, I'm going to buy that jacket for Josh, and then I'm going to buy some skincare for myself, even though I need to be spinning it. I thought not you wanted it. to I need move. to be saving it. For other things, like, you know, going to see Josh, but I literally have been out of my... Um, my one face thing for quite a while, and I'm almost out of moisturizer anyway, so I will need them. Because oh. if I don't have them, my face will look like ultimate crap. Okay. But you know, when you people say my skin looks so nice, it's because of those products. I gotta buy more of that. That'll be fun. I don't know why I brought that up. I can't remember what my point to that was, but... But no, I know, I know what kind of dresses look good on me now. Oh my you know? god. Y'all, she is boring. This is and stuff. I'm gonna skip through a little bit more because we're almost caught up with the live. So um I know they had those two. I don't they probably had more but and probably not much more, but I don't remember. <clears throat> I just remember those two for the squish mallows. Yeah, maybe I wear that dress today or something to feel cute. I don't know. I liked what I was wearing yesterday. But I think wearing that dress out in the daytime would get way too much attention. 
Oh, God. Because I could tell people are looking at me yesterday. I mean, they always look at me, but just because I looked a little bit nicer, I noticed people looking at me, but nobody honked or nothing. But I think oh if I God. wore that dress out in the daytime, that would just be a little bit too much. Uh, That's like, you know, for Josh. Wearing for Josh or wearing it to a nice restaurant and looking super cute. But <laughs> I don't think I can wear that. Or wearing it online for literally everybody. Out in the daytime. I think I'll just wear what I wore yesterday again. Okay. It's it's gonna be a long time, okay? I think we're caught up now. They discontinued off of their thing. That dark spot on my nose and it would like well, for, well, first, wash your face in the shower. Then you use toner. And I honestly don't think it matters what kind of toner it is, to be honest. But I've got some kind of Kiehl's thing. And I can't tell you because I got rid of the bottle. I only have it in a little plastic thing now. So I could take it to Josh's. But anyways, I use some kind of Kiehl's toner. Then the Caudalie stuff. And then serum thingy. But I didn't do the AS because I don't have any. And then I do the moisturizer. And yeah, my skin looks really good. Because that's all you have to do is just get those. Well, whatever toner you like, but the Caudalie. All right. I say let's go and watch this uh, Nick Bravo thing where he's talking about disinformation and then we'll come back and check in and see if she's saying anything because right now she's just like talking about fucking beauty products and stuff like that and it's really boring so let's switch it up a little bit this is not very long so we'll watch this and then we'll go back and see what she's doing saying all those numbers uh, so we went to Sam's Club, bought groceries. Anyway. This is gonna be a short live stream though, because we still gotta go to uh, uh, another grocery store. Yes, please. Got to go to High of High. Love you, my Frosties. Yes, Frosties. It was funny. It was like Frosties and cookies. Yes. I can move my coffee. I'll put my coffee between my legs. That way you can have your Sunday over there. Right. Here's your Sundays. And he's like, can I have one of your uh, drinks? Because I've never had that before. And I was like, yeah, it's what fine. The what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I don't think they have them. I mean, well, I would think they would have them in Denver. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, but like, it was funny the way he asked. I was like, dude, of course. Of course you can fucking have it. You're like paying for everything. I, uh, he's, uh, Did you hear that? She said, of course you can have it. You're like paying for everything. So that's how they were able to go on vacation. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if whoever that is, I don't remember who they said he is to them, like a friend or whatever. But if they had the kind of money that he could take them and like pay for them to come and pay for their, uh, you know, Airbnb and all of that kind of stuff. He might have been the one that paid to fix the brakes. Just saying. He was like, here, I eat some of the food we brought. And I was like, okay, well, you know, do the same. We, we over brought, we brought way too much food. Uh, we brought way too much, way too many, we over packed. We basically packed for a month and. Uh, Days, so. Yeah, well, you know, it's, you know, you live, you learn. I mean, it's if, funny when they were packing up their energy drinks, she had found a purple one and she's like, here, it's purple. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have a purple energy drink. In yes. Uh -huh. So see, we, we have real drink. friends in real life. Um, <laughs> unlike uh, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. But... Unlike Carrie. Like, what, what makes you think that you know what? is going on in my real life and do you not consider people even if you're if you just know somebody from online and you've never met them in person but it's somebody that you talk to you know 
every day. You don't think that's a real friend? I mean, I don't, I don't, I just don't get that. But I'm also married and that's my best friend. So, yeah. Rabbital bat. Give where are all your friends, Nick? Since you claim that you have so many, you know, friends in real life, where are they at? Anthony, uh, I could go down the list. Uh, TJ, um, all these idiots. I am rocking. I am rocking the aviators. I was like, you know what? I want to look as douchey as possible, <laughs> like TJ. Um, you know, the, the huge bug eyes, the huge bug eyes <clears throat> distract from my, uh, dick shaped nose. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. Hey, at least you know I'm what you're working fun. with. God. So anyway, so let me make it, had posted a picture. Uh, and I, I'll admit, I was drunk streaming one night, and I was, I was uh, looking at pictures on Instagram of I Justine and her two sisters. And these are, uh, at the time, they're still in their 30s. At the time that I, that the video was done, I Justine and her sisters were both still in their 30s. I Justine is literally closing in on 40, right? Now, this was way before I met. Sabella, way before I started talking with Sabella. Um, I do like adult women in pajamas. There's what? just something about it. I just, I... Oh my god, what the fuck does this have to do with me? I'm so confused. The title of this video is Carrie Shares Disinformation. Now he's talking about liking adult women in pajamas and shit. Like, what? I just, I like it. You know, it's, it's like you imagine them, you know, like having a sleepover, you know, having cocoa. Very, very, like, just, you know... You know, the, the kind of the, 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 the like, the, the it, I, I just like it. I like adult women in pajamas. Okay, we get the, okay. we get it, we get She's it. She's got herself some pajamas, and uh, I, oh, I gotta tell you. I know, God. Mm. She's got oh, these, what, God. She's got these blue ones that are, it's like, uh, the, she's got, it's like, uh, on the front, it's like, uh, this, it says, this girl needs a latte or something. It's got a picture of a coffee thing, and her oh, pajama bottoms, that. and it's just, I like the feel of most pajamas, and I like, it just, it's a thing, right? We all have our kids. Nick, why, why are you telling us this? We don't care. We don't need to know, and I don't understand what it has to do with me. Maybe you're going to get to that point soon, but I'm just. So we all have our, like, really good things news that appeal to us. There's nothing dirty about it. Um, but I just seen and her two sisters, it was like, it was Christmas before last, I think. They had posted themselves in like pajamas. They had a bunch of Instagram photos up. Uh, Salami Nugget chose to take that picture, blur the faces, because then that way you can't tell that it's three women in their 30s. Three women in their 30s. I am not a hebophile. I do not want anything to do with teenagers. I don't want to deal with that nonsense. Um, I, I don't know what else, what else to say, but so I mean, I get, did that uh, slander, did that right promotion of slander, basically covering up their faces. He also has done it to Sabella. He's covered her face. He posted something uh, covering Sabella's face and said, uh, captioned it with like, uh, Nick Bravo molests a uh, mentally ill woman yeah. in whatever, right? And it's like, yeah. he blurs the faces because he knows it looks bad. If they can't see the faces, if a person cannot see the faces, they can't put it into context. And most people, when they see women in pajamas, they think it's, you know, 15, 16, 17, you know, 
Yeah. Well, why is that, Nick? Why do you think that is? Well, because it looks like you're, you know, looking at a picture of a bunch of girls at a slumber party or something. Like, it's just, it's something that is more identifiable with young girls because, you know, women, grown women, tend to, you know, be, uh, it's lingerie then, you know what I mean? And that's what they wear to bed or a nightgown. Um, but pajamas just, it is a more of a childish thing. And to me, it's like, it's the whole slumber party type thing. That's where people are getting it. Now, does that mean that an adult woman doesn't wear, um, pajamas? Uh, I wear pajamas sometimes, like, obviously they do, but that's where people are getting it from, I guess, is my point. Etc. Which was Salami Nugget's goal, to basically create disinformation. Um, I do not have the time nor the desire to sit there and, you know, uh, go through Insta- go through iJustine's Instagrams looking for that specific picture to prove my case. Because uh, it's like, whatever, you know. But... Karen decided to make a video about it, talking about it, and slandering me further. Um, it's just, it's so disgusting. It's like in the early 2000s, in the early 2010s even. What are you talking about? What is he even talking about? Because I don't recall that I did a stream talking about anything to do with I just seen. I think he is confusing me and my channel with uh the podcast and what we saw with tj because that picture and that situation we watched uh a video about that on the stream last night where he was being really really creepy because it wasn't just the picture that was creepy about it okay and i remember we made it clear TJ did at least that the women that were in it were like 25 or something at the time. We didn't say that they were underage. So how are we spreading misinformation? It was, oh, this person's a racist. This person's a sexist. And it's escalated because now it's, you know, sexist and racist doesn't really have much of a punch anymore. So now it's, oh, this person's uh, doing something with kids. And right, that's what it was. He said it was girls in his college class. That's right. That was the, who he was talking about in the one we were watching last night. Yeah. So, d- was he comparing them with I, Justine or something? Like, I felt, I, I thought that I remembered seeing something about it in either way like it's not disinformation dude and i mean yeah if i had the money i'd probably go after him uh, after salami negative for defamation but i don't have the money so i can't do it and also it's not like this stuff is being marketed to the masses right um because the thing if, if it was marketed to the masses Everybody would be like, being like, okay, who's this salami nugget person? Uh, we need to corroborate Nick Bravo's story. So who's this I Justine woman? What's her Instagram? Let's, you know, do the sleuthing. Let's see who's right. Let's see who's wrong. Salami nugget knows that. So he's making these videos for the human garbage uh, review community, which is basically Carrie, Rabbit Old Bat, uh, David Anthony, TJ, all these other fucks. Who basically uh, have one purpose, and that's to basically make me like that. No. No. Try again. We're covering what you're doing. And just like right now, I'm literally reacting and showing your own words. Your own video. People are coming up with their opinion about you from what you do. Last night. On the podcast, me and TJ, we went over your own video that you put out there. 
that's where people are making their judgment on you on what they're seeing it's not just based on our opinion of it uh a Thessal- Thessalonian, I don't care about uh, carrier's feet, so. Ew. It's like, dude, if that's your thing, fine. I'm not going to kink shame, but that's not my thing. Um, what? Who, what? You know. Somebody's talking about my feet. Anyway. But, yeah, it's just. That's it's fucking uh, weird. It, it's weird how, like, we're on vacation. We were on vacation, and all the, and these people just carrie and them all they could do was ridicule us uh it's like carrie was making a, a comment i guess on a, on one of our videos going oh my god why is why is Sabella on a fun gang vacation because she has family she t- still talks to her sister she's like oh i'm on vacation and her sister's like oh it's cool that's you know blah 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 wait what I, I don't even remember what he's talking about. Right? It, it's like, you know, there's there's human interactions outside of fucking YouTube, but I guess that's a that's an odd thing to people like Carrie and uh, Rabbit Old Bat and the rest of these. If I was on film, if I was being like, you know, if me and Michael were live streaming or whatever, um, I wouldn't be on my phone at the same time. I would pay attention to what was going on. If I was on vacation and we were like hanging out with people, like personally, I don't remember saying anything about her being on her phone, but even if I did, so like get over it. You, you guys criticize me and the things that I do too. Like it's just my God. It's Fox. Um, it's just, it's all these ridiculous people like, and that's you know being on vacation about? it really did help me kind of understand like i thought it was catching pokemon too huh i thought it was catching pokemon we caught a whole bunch of shiny yes we did catch a whole bunch of shiny pokemon oh well then you know all is right with the world um you caught a bunch of pokemon anyway but it's just it's fucking nonsense what these people do and it's like, I, and <laughs> one day I was bitching about because, oh, nobody cares about Steven Crowder and his divorce. Bullshit. Bullshit. There's big name fucking, like. Nobody in our community, Nick. Are you this fucking stupid? And it still didn't make sense that you would have compared me to that situation in any way. It made no fucking sense. Why are you like twist? It's just so weird, and the things that you're choosing to be like offended about, like, my God, bitching about because oh, nobody cares about Stephen Crowder and his divorce. Bullshit, bullshit. There's big name fucking, like, Carrie is so narcissistic that she doesn't fucking understand that she's a tiny fish in a tiny pond. How do I she not is understand a fucking that? Minnow. How do I not understand that? What am I doing that isn't understanding that? You were the one comparing me and and to whatever this fucking Steven Crowder shit. I don't think that I'm anything special. I don't think that I'm anything big. I know that this is a very, very, I am a small part of a even smaller fucking little community a little spot our little corner on the internet like i'm not under any kind of illusions that it's more than that she is a fucking guppy she is a little little but that's a good point melly weren't you the one here you know what let me show you i'll pull it up really quick because this is too good to like not make a point about it since he wants to talk about me and how I'm just this small fish or whatever, right? All right, I got something for y'all. Okay, is it? 
Here it is. Let's let's watch this. This is from eleven days ago. Short little uh, video that I'm going to show you. I haven't Hold gone up. Through. What's happening here? So I just saw a complaint uh, that Carrie had about the fact that I haven't gone after TJ or Michael in regards to their nonsense. There's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, uh, they're pretty much irrelevant. Uh, you're the big fish in the pond. So, therefore, uh, I'm going to focus on you rather than focusing on those two little guppies who are just, you know, kind of bottom feeding off of the uh, muck and slime at the bottom of the pool. You, however, you, you're, you're a big fucker. You're a big fish. You're, you're like one of those big ass catfish that, uh, or maybe even worse, a grouper, a group, a fucking grouper. That's what you are, Carrie. I'm a grouper. You're a fucking grouper. Mike and TJ, <laughs> seriously, seriously, no, 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 no. I'm going after the big fish. And, um, no, it has nothing to do with the fact that you're a woman. So... He's going after the big fish, guys. I mean, it's his words, not mine. Bullshit. Bullshit. There's big name fucking... Like, Carrie is so narcissistic that she doesn't fucking understand that she's a tiny fish in a tiny pond. She is a fucking minnow. She is a fucking guppy. She is a little, little tiny fish. And so is TJ with his big bug eyes. And they, they're, in the, they're in the fucking dark depths of the water where there's nothing. All there is is it's darkness dark. and weirdness and creepy uh, strangeness. Meanwhile, there's actual public figures who are talking about different things that actually fucking matter. Oh, okay. Anyway, I have spent way too much time. Then why are you... What are you doing? You're on here talking about... Like... Oh my god, it's so ridiculous. Like if if I if what I'm doing and covering is so stupid and I'm such an idiot and it's so not important, why are you making videos about it? You're the one making it important, not me. I'm not claiming that any of this shit that I'm covering and doing is important. I'm like I watch what I watch because I like it and I'm entertained by it. I don't think it's important in the world. <laughs> I'm talking about this subject um, but no I am not attracted to teenagers I am attracted to adult women and there are certain outfits and clothing types but like, like for example I do not like latex, latex is just ugh, whatever, you put a woman in a biker jacket and some leather pants <sighs> mm, yummy um you know, or like uh, God, the ne that negligee thing you wear, oh, like God. to be like, oh, you know, the candles are lit, and she's like, I'm going Ew! to eat you, no. you dirty little man, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. anyway. Why are you telling people this? Like, we don't need to know about your private moments like is nothing sacred to you guys like anything at all i just i can't imagine coming on here and talking about me and michael's sex life like that is just why why would you guys want to hear about that it would be the even big like i don't want to talk about it to, to people because that's a private personal thing and I don't think you would want to fucking hear about it personally. Why would you? It's just weird. That's too much. Too much of our private life. Anyway, 
My point being, my point being, Salami Nugget was deliberately covering up the faces of I Justine and her two sisters, all, <coughs> all of whom <coughs> in their 30s for the specific purpose of making me look bad. And now Carrie, in her uneducated uh, opinion, her retardation, her lack of actually looking at facts. Oh, what, you're going to call me a retard? When you sit there and cry all the time about people calling you quirky. Because that's the same thing as retard. But you can get up here and say that to me. You're a fucking hypocrite. Like always. For the specific purpose of making me look bad. And now Carrie in her uneducated uh, opinion. And by the way, I am educated. So... I don't know what you're talking about. I, I have went to college some, so I think I'm probably just as educated as you are. Her retardation, her lack of actually looking at facts, her, her lack of any kind of comprehension skills uh, is going to sit there and push more lies and propaganda just because she thinks it can get a few clicks. And you know what? I'm damn proud of Coves for getting almost 100,000 fucking subscribers. He might be at that point right now. Carrie, on the other hand, you know, she's still creeping in the uh, single digits because that's what she... What? I'm still creeping in the single digits? Where? What are you talking about? What is... Like, I'm still creeping in... Are you talking about my subscriber count? How many do you have, Nick? Let's see. How many do you have? 274 is that what that says it's hard to see hold on yeah 274 subscribers like uh, where is he i don't fucking <laughs> subscribe what more lies and propaganda just because she thinks it can get a few clicks and you know what i'm damn proud of cobes for getting almost a hundred thousand fucking subscribers he might be at that point right now carrie on the other hand you know she's still creeping in the uh single digits because that's what she is a creeper and uh a single digit uh how many <laughs> out of ten eh one let's just call her a one out of ten not a number one no 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 a one as in a fucking miserable bitch oh. who needs to stop fucking promoting propaganda and no. lies no, now that I see how triggered it makes you, I'm going to cover you even more and more. And let's really trigger you. If that's the game that you want to play and you want to get up here and call me a miserable bitch and all of this shit, okay. Because all I'm doing is showing you your content. It's you. You're the one that put all this shit out on the internet. Be mad at yourself. Uh, and she also needs to as in a fucking miserable bitch who needs to stop fucking promoting propaganda and lies. And she also needs to get a fucking life. Have a day. No, I'm a bored housewife. Remember? I mean, I, I've i let you know who I am. Never claimed to be anything different than that, Nick. All right, let's go check back in with Queen really quick. And... And um, then we might watch some of the uh, stream that Nick did today, I guess, a little while ago, um, talking more shit about me. But for now, let's see what uh, Jessica's doing. The Selly Firm Drops, the Selly Firm Moisturizer. Then you're good to go. How am I going to help? Oh, Mermaid Soul. Thank you so much. That is so, so generous of you and very kind. Thank you so much, Mermaid Soul. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're so sweet. Very Help sweet. him move when I'm states away.
Uh, All right, I'm going to skip through some of this and see if she gets, if there's anything more interesting here, because I can't handle just sitting her and listening to her just like sit in silence. It's so annoying. Finally landed on his belly. He was probably jealous you had muscles and he didn't. Well, I used to have a corset, but I got rid of it. Yeah, I mean, I would wear, it would have to be one I like though. It can't just be like anything. Obviously it would have to be something I like, but I would wear one again. I wonder what happened to that cat. I mean, obviously, when I was younger, I must have known, but her cat was so insane. Like, you literally you couldn't even pet it. It would scratch you all. Like, it was like a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Seriously, it was like the worst cat ever. I don't, I don't know what she did with that thing, but it literally was just the worst cat. Like, I don't know why she picked out... Good. Supper's on you. That's so sweet, Mermaid Soul. I appreciate that. What are we going to get then, Michael? What are we doing for dinner? I'm getting hungry. I mean, it attacked her. It, would, it just attacked anyone. It would just like, basically, it just seemed like some feral cat that was let out of a cage or something like. That thing was... Holly, I know that mic that he uses. He needs to use that mic when he's inside because I've noticed in his streams that he does at home. There's always like some kind of like interference or, or static or something that happens. And he doesn't use that, that uh, type of microphone there for whatever reason. So um, you should switch that up, Nick. Just saying. Yeah, I was. I always wonder what happened to that cat. Wow, she is still in the tub through all of this. All right, we're gonna skip some of this because it's just I can't. It's too boring. Sugar bear and faith. Just like, like, oh my god! Like, I don't know why my brain can't function right, but. or what, monk whatever I can't say the that cute little monkey like it won't focus for anything but I took one to Wilmington, North Carolina. And second of all, people want to make one for me. I should. First of all, why does anyone need to go fund me? And I didn't say I needed one. I should not be banned from there because I did nothing wrong. And second of all, people want to make one for me. Because there are actually, you know, people in this world who are very sweet and kind, who want to donate to me, but on their own, on their own free will, because they want me to move to Casper, not to move oh in with God. Josh. We, we do. We just started dating. But would I love to live there? Yes, because I do think. Bad idea. I do seriously think we could be together for the rest of our lives, but does that mean I want to move? You are delusional. You are delusional. Do you... You got... 
I mean, I can't even believe you're saying that. Like, you guys can't even get along for a couple of days without it getting crazy. Yeah. If you guys are going to have, like, a long-lasting relationship, you're going to have to quit drinking. It, there's just no other way around that. You're going to have to. If you guys were sober, I think you could make it work. But as long as you're drinking and getting hammered all the time, it's, no, it's never going to work. Then with him immediately, no. We just started dating. But I would move there for him. But we need our own separate places. And people want to donate to me so I can move there. And that's very sweet. It's almost too, too sweet. I don't fucking believe it. That there are people out there like this. It's people trolling that want to see you go there. Because it's that would end up with a lot of crazy content, I'm sure. Because God knows what the fuck you would do. Even if you didn't live with him, you would be trying to be at his house 24 7 you'd be throwing fits about stuff i mean it, it will be a complete shit show i don't i haven't it's not even my idea i've been seeing it since i was over at josh's and stuff So I don't need a GoFundMe. I would like mine back since I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, you lost oh, four. Oh, trust me. Oh, yeah. I about lost my mind when my shit was delayed at fucking the Denver airport for another hour and 45 minutes. And actually, it was even longer than that, to be honest. <sighs> like, I don't care. It's just like we can't move. We've only been dating for, what, two months now. Actually, is today the 9th? No, it's the 10th. Oh. And you don't even fucking know anything. Okay, here we go. Ariel, shut the fuck up. And you don't even fucking know anything. So shut your fucking mouth, you miserable fucking sow. Yikes. No, the fuck I didn't, you stupid bitch. Heard it pronounced like that. Aw, poor hummingbird. I need to make some for the birds. Because if you put it out, they'll come. Which one was that a massage bar? I was crying last night because, well, one, I was drunk, but even if I wasn't drunk, I would have still cried. But someone. Thank you, Melly, for the PayPal donation. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Very, very sweet of you. Said something about missing Josh or moving to Casper or something, and I, I just started crying because I miss him. That's not what you said. You were not crying because you missed him. You were crying saying that he was going to be with other girls. You were crying that he didn't call you enough, that he wouldn't give you any attention. No, 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 no. You weren't crying because you missed him. That wasn't what happened. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Aw, your kitty. Aw, poor kitty. Aw. I thought it was 
funny, Ollie acts all tough. And like when Merlin first came around, this might have been last year, I think it was. So not the when he first came around, but yeah. After he came back from being gone for over a year, um, Merlin just wanted to get past Ollie, but I guess Ollie didn't know. Like all Merlin did was like jump over him to get by. But Ollie was acting all tough, like, you know, how they like shake their butts and what he acted like he was gonna do something, but then he ducked down and he like cried. And all all Merlin did was just jump over him. But it was so cute. Ollie was acting all tough one second. And then when he jumped over him, he cried because I guess he thought he was gonna get in a fight. But obviously if he would have attacked him, I would have been right there. And I would have been able to protect him, but he said if he I don't know he said he likes cats but he likes dogs better so I, I don't know I don't honestly care he can do whatever he wants uh, I can't even answer that because I don't know I'm a dog person I mean obviously if I move there I'm taking my two cats and my other cats love my mom and dad so you know I'm not gonna leave them lonely crying about it I, I am very sensitive <clears throat> I couldn't even talk about that little girl picking up my trash that blew on the floor yesterday without crying about it and that's because I got up to pick it up and I told her dad I said oh I would have got it but the little girl had a smile on her face and picked it up and I was like that was just so sweet and I'm such a pussy with my emotions and I'm so sensitive and so I started crying about that what? yes I was drunk last night and I was in a good mood and no. someone had asked me about Josh and I start crying. No, that's not how that happened. I do fucking love and miss him. No, I was happy there. I don't I don't like being here. You didn't seem happy there. You had a lot of fucking issues while you were there is what you had. Oh, it was a brown and white. Okay, now as soon as you said brown and I know exactly what I don't know if I tried that one. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about now, but um, I don't think I tried that one, but I know people loved it. That's why I remembered the name. I just didn't remember what it was, but no, I don't think I tried that one. Wasn't it like like brown and white with like something in the middle, like on the top of it or something? Like... All right, I have to skip through. I can't handle her. I'm, I've about had my fill of her sitting in the fucking bathtub. For the day. I'll cry because I love that dog so much. Locked up, uh, you know, chained up. She didn't die from that. She she lived, thank God. That's not how she died, but any kind of way. But when another animal does it, because they're not tied up, it sucks. The ones from last night. Is that what you're asking about, uh, Cam? Did she delete the vids? Are you talking about the ones from last night? Doing not okay as I can be. Okay, she's smoking more weed. Saw you at the Airbnb, took one look at you and said, Yikes! You gotta get the fuck out of here. And then skedaddled like they do on like Scooby Doo and shit. <laughs> From No Man, and you're jealous, and you're desperate. And you wear Cinderella outfits that are looking like for a little child. You should probably shop in the adult section. Get something that fits.
Oh yeah, not not just a pick of one, not some blue box thing. Oh my God, he got me Tiffany's. <laughs> I don't care what kind of ring Josh gets me. The fact he wanted to buy me a ring anyways meant Crazy. a lot to me and I have it. Yeah, well, yeah, all you got last night you were saying, oh, he could take it back and he could give it to another girl because since he wants to be with another girl and not you, like, Dude, you said a lot of fucked up shit last night, and you're acting like, I, I don't, at this point, I'm not sure she does remember it. She probably was blackout drunk. That was a picture of a blue box. <laughs> Months ago, she needs a stylist. Because, like, whatever shirt she chose to go eat out at that fancy restaurant that had that, uh, oh my god, it's like a TV show. Oh, shit, I don't know. It's, it's someplace in California, obviously, um... Oh my God. Yes, it's the effort and the thought. And plus it's beautiful anyways. And like, he seriously knows my style. So, you know, no, her fashion is bad. Whatever she wore to that stupid restaurant. I wish I could think of the, the name that restaurant i'm like girl really that's what you're wearing like oh god if, if I, uh, yeah she went out to dinner or lunch whatever with her mother but like uh, god did she not have any girlfriends that could be like oh sweetie like let's put you in something more flattering please because uh i would say more like Tight, like I like the velvet one. Um, uh oh. Then I got like that. Uh oh, Joshy showed up in the chat. Let me get. Let me go to where. Yeah, okay, we're live now. We caught up. Joshy. Oh, you're. Oh, hey, Josh. You're eating Taco John's. What did you get? Oh, uh, what did? What are those things called? The um, the Olay things. There's Joshy. Joshy. So they're not broke up. There's my man. Yeah, Taco John's was good. I wish I would have felt a little bit better. So I could have ate more of it. But yeah, it was really good. And Scooters was fucking, oh my god, that drink. I looked it up online to see everything that it was, oh my god. It's got like peanut butter plus I think three different like other, I was like, oh my god. I was like, no wonder it's so, del that thing was, ugh, pure perfection. And actually the closest one we have is actually in Wilmington, North Carolina. So, so they're all over the United States, just we don't have any in Virginia. Uh, but scooters was fucking amazing. Peaches, their ranch and fries. Oh, I miss Casper and I miss you, Josh. Uh oh. Here come the tears. You know it's coming. I think it's time to get out of the tub now, Jessica. Can you uh, maybe get out and get dressed and do that? No, maybe. Yeah, that's the tripod, Megan. I know, Josh. I'm sorry. I saw your comment uh, this morning. And I replied back to you whenever you have the time to look at it. This is so awkward. Yeah, Taco John's was started in Wyoming, and I didn't know that, so I was like, well, because I wanted to try it the first time I was there. I thought it was interesting. I can't remember where me and Josh were going, but I just, it was just a thought in my head. Like, I didn't say it out loud or anything, but I said something the second time I was there, and, you know, his dad said, it, you know, it was started in Wyoming and stuff, so I was like, okay, well, now I really want to try it, so... So we did. I think so, Cole. I think she is sitting in the 
empty tub naked because she hasn't gotten dressed from after getting out of the bath. Mm. Well, I mean, she really hasn't gotten out of the bath. She just well, I didn't try enough of Taco John's to to know that. So, because I only tried, um, I think I only had hard tacos and like the um tater tot things they have. I may have tried something else, but I think that was it. Because, I mean, like I said, I my stomach was messed up, like, most of the time there. So, I I tried to eat when I could, but I really couldn't eat too much. Oh, thank you so much, Rabbit Old Bat, for the PayPal donation. I really appreciate that. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. But I did want to try it. So, I think I just got hard tacos. What are we getting for dinner, Michael? And I ate some of the tater tot thingies. You ate the unicorn gummy. She's making me kind of hungry. I'm starting to get hungry, period. That's what it is. Do you get that? Wait, sorry to hear that. What happened to him? Let's see. You do realize I don't spend my whole day on the internet making other people's lives living hell. Ariel, shut the fuck up. You need mental health. Please take care of your daughter that has cancer. Please. Whoa. Please Whoa. take care of your daughter that has cancer and get off the internet and quit harassing me. Thank you. Wow. What? Oh, uh, what drugs? What drugs? There was only alcohol, so I don't know what you're talking about. Jeez, she's got time today, I guess. This is what she spends her time doing. A mermaid soul. <laughs> Yeah. What did you order, Josh? None your business. Oh, of course she's obsessed. I know. What did you order, Joshy? Joshy, what did you order? Now, I'll have to look at their menu because um, he door dashed it and stuff, so it's not like we went there. Um, but now I'll have to look at their menu, but I can't say if I like Taco Bell or that place more because, yeah, I only had like two things off the menu, so. Boy. This is, uh,. getting painful to watch she's so boring dude yeah the crab look the crab look delicious it makes me want some crab i don't even know the last time i had crab but yeah it looked good and i love uh even just the smell of like what is it the old bay seasoning Uh, they're just, um, they're just tater tot rounds, uh, alien. You know, the little, um, not the like tube, not the little tubey ones, but like the, you know, the little circle ones. Joshy, I got my bone. Is she ever and I got my purple lighter that she gave me. Oh my god. <laughs> and oops, where is it? <laughs> All right. Um 
I don't know if I've ever had. Uh... I say, I think what we'll do is I'm going to pop and we'll watch um, some of this Nick Bravo thing to see if there's anything interesting about that. And then we'll pop back in and see what she's saying um, then. And then I'm probably going to wrap it up pretty soon. I got a couple of things that I need to do today. Um and uh, stuff when Michael will be getting off work. So let me pull this up really quick. And if this is boring, then we will uh, watch something else. I mean, we'll go back to this or whatever. We will be done. I don't want to watch the, this whole thing, probably, if it's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, look at Sabella in the background. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a big girl. Oh no. Oh my god. I can't. What is going on with her? Ass. I can't. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. Why fire up a live stream and then do this? Like, it's fucking weird. Next thing, does is she pigeon-toed? I think Sabella might be pigeon-toed because her toes look like they're going, her feet are like going inward. Yeah, the butt is a little bit of a strange shape. It looks like someone took some, uh, what was it, a backpack and slammed her in the ass with it. Just Now it's, you know, caved in. I don't understand why did he do this, because then, this is so weird already. why fire up the stream and then do this like just do what you were doing then and then do your stream so weird fast forward through that shit um they have uh jj they have their bedroom they have their bed in the living room for some reason and they have i guess their bedroom set up like an office or something i don't know why but that's i think that's the way that they have it set up for some reason <sighs> Yeah, it wasn't working. Is there another stream? It shouldn't be. I am not seeing them at all. Oh my god, let me fast forward through whatever this is. He's just trying to figure his shit out. Uh... What the fuck? Oh my god, when did he start? He's just no, I... fucking with shit the whole time? Okay. Uh, I am a lightweight. I really am. Oh, he's drinking alcohol? Uh, 
Um, so, rather interesting how we weren't on YouTube hardly at all, and yet there were so certain people who were obsessed with us. Obsessed. Very strange. Very, very strange. Oh, let's see, don't look at that one. Down. Ew, the mouth noises. <laughs> and then tomorrow, we're going to be uh, basically just uh, getting back to work. Doing what we need to do. Does he have a dip in his mouth? Huh. What? He did, Melly? Why did he time you out? Anyway. Um. Right, Pearl, back to work. What? Oh, let me do that one. He doesn't work. Totally All right, let me fast forward through more of it because this is ridiculous. I don't know what this is. Yes, we are back home. Uh, BGTV. I I was a little shocked when I uh, I did look at the uh, community tab uh, that BGTV put up. Uh, apparently, Jessica owns uh, little Sambo glasses. I know in one uh, store we went into, one convenience store, they had a... I posted that on my community tab as well. Um, Georgie girl, thank you so much for the PayPal donation. I really appreciate that. Very, very, very nice of you guys. I really appreciate all the donations. You guys have been awesome. Yeah. Uh, Confederate flag hanging up, so yikes. But that's, you know, uh, apparently that's their culture. Okay. Doesn't your girlfriend had, have a Confederate flag uh, on her couch in her house that she was living in before she was with you? Am I not remembering that correctly? I I'm pretty sure she did. So, what did he just say? Let me go back. <sighs> I know in one uh, store we went into, one convenience store, they had a uh, Confederate flag hanging up. So, yikes. But that's, you know, uh, apparently that's their culture. Okay. Anyway. Um... I guess Bruce got so triggered uh, the night that me and a bunch of us others, we were actually having fun and we live streamed hanging out in the uh, Airbnb. Uh, Bruce got so triggered, he's, he just uh, started screaming and bitching. Also, uh, he thinks that, um, well, anyway. Uh, <sighs> he thinks what? So... So he he's basically all yeah. Bruce was raging. He's always raging. Um, he he was going off on. Uh, he was going off about how uh, two of the women that we know, um, apparently from here in town or from California, by the name of Lilith and Segment. Oh, God. Don't anybody tell him that those are the names of deities. I want him to think that those are actual women coming to track him down. I, I would rather believe. I would rather he believe that he is a loser. 
Uh, he said AOD two more audio messages. Just freaking out. Maybe I should play those. Oh, I think I will no. play those. Great. Because they are hilarious. Hmm. Let's play this one first. Great. You know what else I got evidence of, motherfucker? Him admitting that she conspired against me, which means that all of her fucking claims are false. And you're hanging out with these two fucking sickos. What does that say about you? I'll be sending you the link to the video clip that I sent to the Lincoln, uh, Nebraska police and a picture proving that I sent it. I'm not going to stop until he goes back to jail. Because right now, the only thing I have Very salty. is ruining her life. Because she fucking surely ruined mine and slandered my name. Now, everybody that I know online, nobody talks to me. Nothing. I don't have any fucking friends online anymore because of her. Because of that fucking cunt, Mike. And he's next. Because I have evidence that he tortured his daughter. Anyway, he's going on that. The second one. Why did you stop playing it? Wait, Nick. Why did you stop playing the first one? You didn't want us to hear part of that, apparently, eh? I find that interesting. You stopped it early. Hmm. What's that about? The second one. Uh, play. You know what I'm watching, motherfucker? I'm watching a video clip of Nick literally threatening to kill me. I'm going to clip it. And I'm sending it to the Lincoln, Nebraska Police Department. In this video, he clearly states that if I show up there, he's going to kill me. And he just admitted. Why are you laughing like a weirdo? I mean, is this a joke to you? Because if I was being fucking stalked. And somebody was leaving me messages like this, I wouldn't be fucking laughing about it. I don't get what is funny about any of it. Two other people conspired with Sabella to fucking put her to, to over into Nick's fucking life. <sighs> She ain't done nothing but slander my name for a goddamn year. I'm going to make sure that they both go to fucking prison for this shit. I got this motherfucker slandering my name every fucking day he goes on the fucking line for a fucking year. And I didn't bother with them for almost eight or nine fucking months. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Black Cat TV. Exactly. I mean, I, I made a video. Um... Where I was just, I, I was, you know, Tip said I was acting all creepy and weird. And I was like, uh, Ave Lilith, Ave Sekhmet, right? Which are the names of, uh, you know, deities or whatever. Uh, and, uh, you know, he thinks those are real people who I'm conspiring with. Uh, and I did make a video where I told him, <laughs> you know, if he shows up at my door, um, with intention to harm Sabella, I will do bodily injury to him. Um, okay, I mean, right? It's like you've, you've got a girl who, uh, you know, you, you got a woman who has a, an ex-husband who's or ex-boyfriend who's extremely violent, uh, living in another part of the country, and all of a sudden shows up 2,000 miles away Right, 2,000 miles away. So we would have to travel from Florida to Nebraska, find where we're living, and then show up. What else would I do? What else would I do? And there's enough good old boys who Sabella's friends with where she works and other places. Good old boys. That I'm friends with too. Um, good they old know boys. about Boris. And if I couldn't handle Bruce, they sure as hell would. And they probably wouldn't be nice about it because, you know, 
there's pig farms, there's corn threshers, there's hundreds of fields and hundreds of miles of nothing out here in Nebraska. Uh, not too hard to disappear, actually. Not too hard to disappear. No, he doesn't even, Bruce doesn't even have a car. Yeah, he thinks we're in Lincoln, and so he keeps calling the Lincoln Police Department. And the Lincoln police are like, why does this guy keep bothering us? Why? Anyway. We had a lot of fun at the lake house. It was, uh, you know, it's one of those things that we were trying to pack in so much during like two or three days. <sighs> we're just like, we're still a little bit exhausted. And uh, it's like, wow. Uh, I'm sure Carrie is sniping this. Uh, let, let's see if the little Carrie, the little Carrie is sniping. Little Carrie. God, you're uh, creepy. Carrie. He's so creepy. I'm not even subscribed to her. I just Googled. She, she, oh, she is live. Tangerine. She is live. She is live. Mm, Nick Bravo and more. Ooh, I feel so special. Don't. I feel so special. Uh, uh, um... This is interesting. Right now, she's uh, live streaming Jessica taking a bath. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> people in chat. I, I think she's she's afraid to come in here. I mean, if I was on StreamYard, I would. Afraid to come in there? You blocked me. Why would I come in there? I can't even comment. toss a link uh to let her in but you know she's she she would never take that bat she would never ever be in here uh what do you mean i literally tried to talk to you when you first started talking shit the other day in your chat and you blocked me and told me that i was making something about you because you were talking about bruce and you were like, you're making this about you. I'm blocking and blocked me. So what do you mean? Like, you're acting like I'm too scared to come in there and talk to you. I literally tried that and you blocked me. No, yeah, she wasn't showing her body at all. Interesting. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What is he doing? I need to do more like what Carrie does. I need to figure out how to talk about nonsense. No, some, apparently some uh, other people did. Anyway, you got her blocked. No, I don't. I do not have her blocked. Yeah, you did. I will have to double check. I will have to double check. Oh, thank um, you, Melly. Yeah, he has me blocked. See, Melly knows. Two hundred and forty people watching. Well, it's two in the afternoon. Don't they have jobs? <laughs> Oh, is somebody jealous? They don't have jobs. I do curious viewers if they're watching at two in the afternoon. Do they not have jobs? Todd, be nice to Melly. Anyway, you do realize that a lot of people no. watch me from work. They will be working or whatever and listening, and you know it's something that they do while they work. Is that really that weird? and a hard concept for you to understand, Nick? As moderator. Standard. Uh, 
Gracie was sitting here, and now she's sitting over there on her bed. She was a really good baby uh, all, all the whole trip. Um, one of the... Uh, oh, one of the live streams that I do on my channel, um, I've got her basically downstairs. She's hanging out with everybody, all four people. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what the best part of the trip was because, I mean, a lot of it was just traveling and riding. Oh, I'm just, I don't care. I'm skipping through some of this. I don't you care. You know, we put it down, you know. So, our cat sat in the uh, on the floor mat. You could tell. Don't care. Uh, we've been giving her, and you know the thing with this is like I see Carrie has two hundred and thirty-one viewers. Don't those people have jobs? Oh my God! Are you really bringing that up again? And I'm just relaxing. Yeah, you're oh, going to take a nap a little bit because mm, I did most of the driving back. She, uh, Sabella did most of the driving going up there and I did most of the driving back and uh, uh, we took 281 going through. Don't care. So driving that. But in regards to Bruce, um, don't care. All the women who I know who are, you know, on their way to Florida right now, um, to track down boys and, uh, you know, deal with them. I mean, uh, not that I sent to them there, but I mean, you know, I mean, they're friends of Sabella's too. So, I mean, maybe they just, you know, figured that they'd, uh, go take care of business because you know uh segment's uh, a, a black chick and she's you know she's she, she likes to get into it you know so i mean i i don't know i i just i don't know um but yeah um you know lilith is one of those uh you know goth chicks and you know she uh I, I don't know, man. I mean, they're both pretty athletic. So, I mean, oh my <laughs> I, th God. I think I, I, I think he is so annoying. I can't even handle it. Bruce, not that they will. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything that's going to happen. But, um, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, they're, they're not too happy about how Bruce treated Isabella. And, uh, you know, right. Um, if Bruce wants to believe that you have made up people that you claim to know that are going to go to Florida to handle him. You're so full of shit. I don't believe it for a fucking second. Uh, I'm just fucking with him. Okay. That's fine too. You know, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'm, Maybe I'm just full of shit and I'm bullshitting and, you know, Lilith and Sekhmet are the names of actual mythological deities and, you know, there's no connection to, you know, two actual women driving down to Florida to personally, uh, you know, uh, met out some uh, justice, good old-fashioned justice to Bruce for his uh, 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 misogynistic ways. Uh, I gotta, I gotta tell you though, Bruce. I mean, you know, women these days, you know, they're they're kind of, you know, there's a lot of them that are. I'm not saying they're misandrist. You know, they don't hate men. They just hate men who are absolute pieces of garbage. And uh, you know, I mean, you know, sometimes you know, uh, a woman gets a feeling, and it just, you know. She'll fucking drive across the country to, like, you know, do what she wants to do, do what she feels she needs to do. I'm not saying anything. I'm just, you know, uh, it's just, you know, certain things. Sometimes, sometimes things happen, you know? And sometimes you need to take your cups out of the freezer. What? Huh? You take your out of the freezer. Okay. 
What the? What is he doing? God, he's annoying. <clears throat> yep, more clothes. So that's a good thing. Um, that's a good yeah. This is boring. Is Black Guy TV still here? I I did kind of want to ask him a question. Um, so there was that movie called Society of Magical N Word. What? Apparently, it wasn't making very much money, and mm. it uh, it got taken out of theaters. And I was wondering if he'd seen it, and what were his thoughts? Because the idea behind it is that uh, basically. Uh, there's this like secret organization of black people who do everything they can to help other black people appease white people because white people are these crazy, dangerous, psychotic, mentally retarded uh, people who have to be controlled by magic, <laughs> magic used by black people. What? It's completely racist, but you know, that's what they do. Carrie is taking a poll. I would like Carrie to take a poll uh, to actually go on camera. And how do I do in the poll? Let's I see bet how I do you in would poll. love that. I bet you would like that, wouldn't you, Nick? You fucking weirdo. Nick. Ah, Jessica in the Jessica in the tub is getting 58%, and I'm 42. Yep, you lost. Womp womp. Cork is really not doing any favors to Sabella's restraining order against Bruce. I have every right to talk about the fucker. The restraining order does not affect me at all. You know, says Lasagna at Nick Bravo. Who's Nick Bravo? Yeah, as if, as if, as if. Oh, come on, Carrie. You know. What? You want. Is he typing something? Did he start leaving Corky's... messages in the chat or something? I didn't see him if he did. Ninety-one. <laughs> uh, ah, damn it! It's it's like cheese, cheese. I'm I'm a. Well, and then that other time at the other concert. I'm offended. When the girls started attacking the guy for no reason. I'm offended. I'm, I, I'm not. I'm. <sighs> well, I mean, I, I get it. You know, you want to watch a. You know, maybe they want to watch a partially naked woman in the bathtub rather than me. No. I get it. The problem she wasn't showing anything and she was being boring and they still didn't want to watch you. Problem is. Is Carrie gay? Is that is that why? What? Now you're gonna accuse me of being gay? So what if I was? What the fuck does that matter? A partially naked woman in the bathtub rather than me. I get it. The problem is Is Carrie gay? Is that is that why? Is Carrie a, is Carrie a lesbian? Is that why she keeps wanting to watch Jessica in the bathtub. Is she helping for like a nip slip? Is she helping? No, dummy. It's because the only fucking place that she fucking streams from is the goddamn bathtub. She spends hours and hours and hours in there every day. There's if you're if I'm gonna cover her and we're gonna watch any of her shit, she's gonna be in the bathtub. For some upper thigh. Is she helping for uh yeah, they're watching a ball. So I don't. I mean, I don't Jesus. 
So somebody says, obviously Jessica has never been popped. Otherwise, she wouldn't be so cocky. Oh, okay. So they have people promoting domestic violence. Who is promoting domestic violence? How? Why are you assuming that that person was talking about domestic violence? You can pop somebody for with a drug test. Like, there's other things that you can that pop could be referring to. In Carrie's chat, and Carrie, of course, doesn't bring that up. I didn't fucking see anyone say that. I can't. I cannot. I don't see every comment that goes through my chat. There's no fucking way. Doesn't even, uh, uh, like, point out the, to the person that, you know, hey, that's not acceptable. Because in Carrie's world, if you don't like somebody, it's perfectly okay to do horrible things to them because it's funny. What? It might get clicks and views. What am I doing to anybody? Mm. What, what, am I need to... what am I doing to Jessica? What am I doing to you? What am I doing to anyone by getting on here and showing their content and talking and, and giving my opinion on it? That's all I'm doing. What am I doing to get more views? What can I be doing? I know I need to show you the kitty. That's what I'll do. I'll show you the kitty. No I'll one do. cares. God, make this nonsense stop. Anyway, uh, on vacation uh, with our friend because we were, he was obviously watching our stream. Uh, la, 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 la. This is, I did. I did vote for myself. Why wouldn't I vote for myself? Like, I don't get that. Why wouldn't I vote for myself? It doesn't make any sense to not vote for myself. Like, <laughs> seriously. Uh, the right nut. What is he doing? Someone said he talks about Michael. That's what I was trying to get to. Because he better watch talking about my man. Well. Why do this and like get up? Oh my god. Like. Anyhow. Ah, anywho, it's almost over. We're almost through this, guys. I know you guys are done with it, probably. Hmm. Uh, do those people, are they at work? I don't, if they're at work, I guess they not, must not be very busy at work. Or maybe they're unemployed. Hmm. Uh, Ew. Well, I, I, you know, and the thing with it is, is like, I'm just taking a day to, to kind of relax a bit. Get things put away. Okay, new charger will be more Monday. And do you want to get that other computer taken care of later this week? Huh? That other computer, the one you have sitting in the closet? Friday. Uh, Friday. Yeah. Because I know those external hard drives are... Do they Are the fixing or just put the stuff on the external hard drive? It's so annoying. Yeah. Like, Why start a stream and then just start talking about other shit? Like... I don't get it, but whatever. Yeah, Michael might be posting from work, but then again, still employees. Um, that they're kind of a weird. I I wonder how many lonely housewives 
Michael has on his route. I'm just curious. What is going just, on? Why is this all of a sudden buffering so bad? Is that just on his end or what? That they're kind of a weird. I I wonder how. Must be on his end. You guys can hear me, right? Everything. I'm just making sure. Yeah, Michael might be posting from work, but then again, still employees. Um, that they're kind of a weird. I I wonder how many lonely housewives Michael has on his route. I'm just curious. Just just curious. Um, I don't want to see the last time. Not anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your life for a paycheck. Um, like the pinnacle of meaning. Not not just. I mean, I guess you got to have a paycheck to live. Like, um. This this boomer idea where you sacrifice your life for a company, what right? Are you you sacrifice about? fifty years of your life for uh, a retirement, right? Because what? Not not even fifty. No, because the idea would be you get to be twenty, you go to you go to college for four years, and you immediately go into a corporation, and then you work till retirement. So you're working the better part of 40 years for a corporation helping somebody else make a ton of money. And then you get to retire and maybe enjoy a few years before you die. That's 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 uh that's a hell. That's hell. You know. Oh yes. my god, Sabella. Okay, she's so spying on me. Yikes. Hi, Katie. How are you doing? Until Nick and Jessica, I didn't understand what horror. Yes. Sabella, you do not need to come on here in that. Holy shit. Uh... I'm spying on you. Okay, she's spying on me. Hi, Katie. How are you doing? Until Nick and Jessica, I didn't understand what horror cow meant. Their minds are horrific. Wow. We are talking about someone who is, uh, she, she's basically, uh, somebody said that before they saw, heard about me and Jessica, they didn't know what a horror cow was. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm like, how, how new are they to the end? Hi, baby. Anyway. Also, remind me, I need to order a new phone to replace that one that got broke. You said throw it, and you was going to catch it, and then you never catched it. You did voice it. Wow. Oh, well. This is lagging. Why is this lagging? Uh, why is this lagging for seven people right now? Now there are only seven people watching. Anyway. Oh, no. Carrie's wish came true. Yeah. What? Okay. Oh God, you are a child. <laughs> huh, interesting. <laughs> I did a little bit of... I'm not sure what she's watching. All right, I'm about done with and, uh, this. Into, uh, He's boring the shit out awesome. of me. <sighs> there was an issue with the beds. Um, I was deprived two twin beds. pushed them together but that still didn't work because uh between them uh maybe ending this eventually to get cuddled because i'm busy doing other stuff i don't want to be uh i don't want to be narcissistic 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, vacations are exhausting. I'm going to sleep this afternoon. And we just decided uh, last night and today, uh, we got home about 10 o'clock. So we just decided last night and tonight uh, are just days for... Oh my god, I can't sit through much more of this. Uh, this is so my head or whatever. Because it had a lot of uh, sheet metal on the second floor. And it was uh, a very weird... Um, it, it was just, I wish I, I should have. So. Uh, let's check in with Carrie. Yes, I see that, Millie. 9.33 p.m. in Germany. Two more minutes. Hold on. We're almost done. <laughs> uh, I mean, asking how many board housewives are on Michael's route isn't really uh, talking shit about Michael. It's more talking shit about Carrie, as in Carrie, uh, fair enough, uh, yeah. As in what? No, they're all, uh, now he work. can't get you out of his head. Well, when she keeps talking trash, it's like, what am I supposed to do? Just ignore it? I probably should, actually. What was I talking actually, trash? Like, I wasn't saying shit about you. Like, you're just, you haven't shut up talking about me. Like, what are, are you really delusional? Probably, actually. I think I know the answer. I'm getting a lot of lag, too. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think part of it is that I'm downloading, uh, videos from StreamYard. So that's probably, and here's the thing. If they can dish it out, if Carrie can dish it out, she sure as hell be able to better take it. Yeah, I, oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, Okay, thank God. That's over now. All right, let's see. We're going to go check back in with Jessica, but I'm probably about to wrap it up. I'm hungry, and I'm going to go chill out for a bit, but I want to see what she's doing before I do. But I'm going to catch us up with what's live. Oh, you're from Iceland. That's cool. So don't think you're going to try and get me in trouble because it's legal here. I need to, like, save some money up to do that with them, too. I think that would be so fun. <laughs> what got deleted? Uh, no, we're not looking for none of that. No, that's why it was deleted because, uh, no. Oh, Shani and Rev are live? All right, hold on. Let me pull it up. Hold on, guys. We're going to watch some Shani, it sounds like. Let me get it all pulled up real quick.
Okay, here we go. Ring cameras. Yeah, the ring camera will get you. It will. There we go, guys. Looking healthy. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm trying to... I, I got a routine that I'm doing. That's... Uh, uh, cu last couple nights, I haven't been. But uh, I have a routine that I'm doing, and it's definitely going to work. I just have to stick at it. You could use a few bucks, too. God bless you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a cool name, man. That's... <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hear Shani moaning in pain. If you could pray for Shani's hips specifically, her hips are just like feeling like they're falling apart. So, yeah. I work as a cashier at Beggar for a popular store. It's better to ask for a hiring manager when it comes to the store. Yeah, but but they're like like I they're saying literally they're not hiring like they're just not. I'll pray for her hips. Thank you very much, Royds, for Christ pilled zealots. Appreciate that. Uh Island is cool. If you're into farming games, you should get that. Oh, you could send a few bucks. Oh, thank you. Um, I know your name, but nope. That girl with the cute kids, thank you. Thank you very much. Love you. Maybe her hips are hurting from the work but you put uh, the other day. No, well, Matt, you would probably partly correct. Okay, but I think mostly it is osteo that's acting up. But you're right. That could be part of it. Hip pain can be related to back pain, definitely, Stacy. Yeah. Yeah, she's got she's got a nice somebody. I can't remember who sent it. Somebody wonderful uh, sent a, a beautiful heating pad that she has. So she's on that right now. What is so, he doing with that you know, hat on his head? To make her feel better, you know, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Same shit, just a different day. Well, yeah, that's what I'm here for today is gas money. And I apologize for that. You know what I mean? I hate doing this. I hate, I hate it. Big boobies probably wrecked her life as it did me. Stacy, yeah. It's a sacrifice, right? I mean, we really like them. Guys love them. Uh, girls too, but guys love them. And uh, you got them, so I mean that's cool. But yeah, I guess there is a consequence to that. What's up, hella nervous? I know Kroger, Home Depot, Marriott, Target, other grocery always hit higher for cashier uh, or baggers. But night shift gets more than morning. I would tell that, that would I'd take night shift, definitely. You know, the mornings no. Mornings are like, there were people at Burger King getting up at six, like they had to get up at four, four in the morning to open the doors and shit and, and put the machines on and stuff. No, thank you. Holy crap. Well, how else is the food yeah, going to get made, dummy? your pain. She gets it. Well, then you add osteo and fibromyalgia. It's like, holy crap. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. We appreciate you. Love you. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. That is not enough, though, for... Gas is uh, for a gallon. Gas is $4 a gallon here. Where are you trying Biden's to go? awesome economy. Where, where it's all are you about routine. You get used to, to getting go. up early. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It is. It is. I'm just not a morning person. And in the more in the in the morning here, you got frost on your windows and all that bullshit. Yeah, it sucks. Never thought I'd be disa deemed disabled by the government at forty. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Don't say sorry, that girl with the cute kids. So, oh, thank you. Any, I feel that, too. Anything you can give is cool. Huh? I feel that, too. Yeah. You disabled at 40. Yeah. It really sucks. It's Especially horrible. when your mind wants to, like, go places and do stuff. Yeah. Your body's like, no. You want to live. Yeah. You're, you're fucking She's so full of it. In your own body. And it sucks. I know. Oh, so full of and it. I'm sorry about that. It's dog shit. Stop eating so <clears> much. <throat> do something about it. But you won't. Life can be rough, man. I miss hiking. i never been really what you say, hiking. But, I mean, I've been through the woods and PA so much. It's like... Grocery stores hiring uh, baggers for ten to thirteen dollars an hour, and it comes to ten dollars an hour. Great. Wow. You get part of your paycheck later after you're done. Thirteen, okay. Thirteen's better, but ten, I wouldn't work again. No, I'm not working for ten dollars. No, then don't. Because then... I did it at Burger King, oh and I God. can't even get out of this house. I, I don't have enough money to get an apartment on that salary. It's all 16-year-old kids working get these jobs. Two jobs, then. Because they're with their parents. Or How does their everybody else do it, You then, can't Rev? live on these salaries. You can't. How do you think everybody else survives? $10 an hour is more than zero. What the fuck? It doesn't... You're not... You don't have enough to get out of the situation that I'm in. It's the, it has to be more than that. Sorry, you're going through it. I used to watch you guys on Twitch played uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, cool. I'm all seriousness. You have to work from the ground up. All in, a consistent income is better than your situation now. <laughs> I worked for Burger King. If anybody out there can help me out with $20, I'd appreciate it. Our information is in our description. Peace and Maranatha. Well. Oh boy, he started getting pissy quick, didn't he? Wow. All right. We're going to uh, see what uh, Jessica's doing, and then I'm going to call it for now. Um, I'm hungry. Let's see what she's saying. It's 21. Mm. I don't remember. Hmm, Cobra's Tantina. I got that in my head right now. All right. Check, check. Oops. My poor wallet's broken. <clears throat> you know, I was talking about this incense yesterday, and I had it in the bathroom, and then poof, disappeared. Don't know where it went. This is my second box. I wasn't even done with my first one. I don't know where it went, but... And, and my bath crowns went missing too. <clears throat> oh, I gotta put my ring on. Since I'm out of the shower. Can't forget that. All right. Keep this if I wanted to make my own bath bombs. Actually, I have most of this stuff. Kind of keep this um, I have to look and see how to do that. All right, guys. I think she's about to leave to go somewhere. 
Um, let's see. So this is probably a good time to uh, <clears throat> take a break anyway. Let's see what she says when she comes back. But I think that um, I think she's about to do leave and do something. Bye, I've been so bad. Good seeing you. What is she doing now? All right, I'm going to call it. I'm not going to sit and wait for her. Um if I, if we miss anything, um if she, if anything happens after um you know, I wrap up, we will I'll come back on later tonight. And um We'll watch it then. And if anything else happens, if, if Rev and Shani go live again or something like that. So I'll probably be back. Um, let's see. And I will. I will search up the Latini thing while I'm away. Good. Thank you for reminding me, um, Forever Brandy. And thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you for the donations today. You guys were really, really, really sweet and generous. And I really appreciate that so much. Um, so... Uh, let's see. I think that's going to be it for now. Um, like I said, I will keep an eye out though on things and, um, I will uh, come back on later if there's anything to cover. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody. Love you guys.